Oh, Philip. How there are times I wish you say I'm divorcing Kathy. Oh, there's times I wish I could be the one sitting in the car next to you. But vibe check, vibe check. One day this may come true. You complete my butthole. I need you, Philip. King. There we go. Let's go. Let's go. Who? Your business in the trash. It's not that deep. And you're spending all your cash. It's not that deep. Get a job, touch grass, maybe touch your wife's ass. Lay off the red meat. It's not that deep. It's not that deep. No. It's not that deep. It's not that deep. It's not that deep. It's not that deep. That's why you got fucking gout, bitch. It's not that deep. Damn, it's me, ALT, Steve, motherfucking Sam. We're going on a jet and we're going to Japan, bitch. It's not that deep. Yeah, it's not that deep. Your business in the trash. It's not that deep. And you're spending all your cash. It's not that deep. Bitch, your channel's getting fucked. It's not that deep. Tonight you getting caught, it's not that deep Damn, 
get a job, touch grass, touch your wife's ass. Welcome, 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 everybody. Welcome. This is another uh, live stream on the internet. And just like Boogie2988, I'm coming to you live through the power of the zeros and ones. Here we are, Chocolate Starfish. No soundboard today because we're talking serious business. Today we're going to talk about women. And uh, we actually have a representative of the female species on here. So welcome everybody. Uh, give a warm welcome to uh, Indrid Cold representing uh, Detractor Beam. Big ups, Ingrid. Uh, how do you feel? Hi. I'm I feel great, especially after listening to that remix. Oh my god, that was so good. The butthole <laughs> remix. That was really good. The butthole remix, yeah. Yeah, that one. So uh yeah, I've been listening uh you guys' stuff today uh at work. The the Shinko stream is fantastic. And I, I heard some of the, the one with the Dark Sea to fill as well. It's a lot of fun. <laughs> They're both so cool. Like that was that was a lot of fun last night. We were supposed to look at the timeline between, you know, when DSP started dating um, Leanna up to the time that he started dating uh, the other one, um, Kat. And we just didn't do any of that. So, <laughs> so. Oh, well, it was still a lot of fun. Yes. So uh, you guys watched the, oh, oh yeah, a bunch of like uh, Panda Lee cringe videos, basically. When yeah. she was like super uncomfortable. Yeah. And, uh, yep. <laughs> yeah, that... And the one where he tries to play a game, but she is constantly interrupting him. Mm. The classic. So let's I do it. I loved that. <laughs> she just like slams him a few times and it's great. Right? Right? It's it's a lot of fun. When he gets some pushback by somebody, it's fantastic. It's hilarious. Yeah. Now, uh, today I wanted to watch some uh, some more recent stuff with you. Uh, I think we can okay. get to the, the female type segment a little bit later when people have uh, gathered around because this is kind of an early type stream. So first, uh, let's do some, some catch-up. Uh, let's check out what Snort Hogan has been up to. Yeah, big up Snort Hogan. So, uh, oh yeah, the, the dude put out, not Snort Hogan, but the, the real Snort, the Snort uh, Paul Burnell. Uh, he put out, like, a 15-minute daily rap the other day. He was crying about a bunch of stuff, crying about, like, sexualized video games. Yeah. I, oh, he's, he's, he's a weird dude, man. He's really weird. <laughs> he's um, a weird little boy. Yeah, we were trying to figure out in the Discord, like, what, what's wrong with him? Oh, big up, Sinrak. Um, what's wrong with him? Like, is he, is he closeted? you know, homosexual or like what's going on. And the consensus just was that I, we think that uh cat is a really, really jealous woman and he's got to act really repulsed by all this. It, I, I am pretty much on board with this. It sounds, sounds viable. Sounds, uh, sounds good. Sounds convincing. And I also think he is very insecure uh, about, yeah. you know, delivering on, on his, uh, I don't know how to call it like a performance. <laughs> in a way I, I i think that's true as well because you know um uh, uh, uh gout correlates to not being able to perform very well in a certain type of scenario you know what i mean yeah so th yeah. that that might be the case um, a very uh important scenario sometimes yeah so uh first uh welcome chat welcome this is a co-op stream and it uh, seems like it's going to be a lot of fun. We're going to start watching some clips sometime soon. I have a new microphone. I have a new setup. If you haven't checked okay. out uh, the Chicken of the Ring from yesterday, go check it out on that being said channel. Link is in the description. Uh, you can go check out the Detractor Beam channel. The link is in the title. And just check everything out and come back here and watch this stream. Uh, we're going to watch some clips. <laughs> now, first... Yeah. Let's, uh, I'm just going to play something on random. Uh, let's see what we got. He is ranting about detractor content. I'm pretty sure we've heard this rant before. It's all fake, except it's kind of based on some truth, but it's also all fake, but it's also kind of true. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure what to believe. I, it's probably just the same thing that we've heard before, but in a new sentence. Well, more recent sentence. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh, have you seen this? Uh, this weird edit that somebody did of him playing like oblivion 
Oh, uh, I don't think so. Panda to make him a Wait, sandwich, maybe. So she made I don't him know. A sub. I have no idea. <laughs> yeah, Bob Starsky says uh, with a super chat, Phil asked Panda to make him a sandwich, so she made him a sub. Ah, <laughs> uh, there you go. Uh, that that was a good like one. That. Also, big ups Bob Starsky and everybody else who who entered songs into King of the Ring. That was great. Yeah, they were excellent, excellent. And I think the the rightful winner won. Someone who put a lot of effort. We got the the last four were amazing. Like the the final four were really tough. Yeah, that was I don't, that was that was a close competition. <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, so you can see the screen. You can probably hear what's going on. Now we're gonna go into the rest of the yeah. schedule. But if you yeah, okay. So I'm I'm gonna play this. Uh, this is a new thing that he does apparently somebody made this for him and it's really stupid mm -hmm. so let's let's watch it give you guys one okay. second i just gotta run and do some very quick i'll be right back so he's gonna go somewhere do something quick this is a gimmick uh-huh uh whoa he is now in oblivion i didn't see this huh what the where am i Oh my god, that's a lot of trolls. Good thing I brought my band hammer. Band, 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 <laughs> band, band. This is so stupid, man. Long, you dirty <laughs> troll. Oh shit, I gotta get back to stream. What the hell? There we go, he comes back like nothing ever happened. He didn't even break a sweat. Okay, I'm back. And you're wondering where that? I'm... I don't know, but it... He did... be a troll. Yeah, it, it it's it's kind of it feels sincere. I mean, look at look at the model that they used of him. It, he has the the weird like Sonic T-shirt. He is looking like remarkably similar to DSP. So somebody had to model DSP in Oblivion. Holy crap! And I, I don't know if they're like DSP fans were capable of doing this. If I gotta be honest, so it, it might know. be a troll job. It could. I mean, it could be either. I mean, it, it could be Dasbodent. Who knows? Maybe. Uh, I don't know. Because, <laughs> I mean, you know, sometimes people don't have, much, you know, many social uh, skills, but then they are really good at stuff like this. So who knows, man? I I need to know. I wonder if it was, it was Dayglo. Dayglo, if you made this, please stand up. <laughs> uh, I, I don't know, but it's, it, and also uh, the audio is kind of panned all to the left. So it makes yeah. it even worse. It's it's bizarre. I think somebody in chat was like, my left ear likes it. Thank you. <laughs> uh, yeah, big ups. Uh, Sandrak says he really owned us with this one. This one, you guys. I mean, yeah. I, I'm going to go punch the air. I feel pretty destroyed right now. I mean, that's a that's a really big win for him. Having this yeah. this amazing asset. Uh, do you want to check out the, the 15 minute daily wrap? Actually, yeah, I saw pieces of it on Snort for now, but uh, oh, let's let's experience I'm it. Curious about the face touch count as well. <laughs> oh, you, what, you what he got up to? Do you have a count of those? Do you keep count of the face touches, or is it just kind of? I watch piece of piece do it, but I can try my best. <laughs> okay, uh, we we have uh, here a, a juicy opening face. This is the first frame, is of course a, a classic DSP first frame. When you just have like a deadpan expression, and then are we gonna get a deep sigh? Are we gonna get a knee slap? I don't know what to expect. It's so. Uh... Oh, mm. that's a good. That's a good question. I say leg slap. Good evening, everyone, and welcome to the daily. <laughs> uh, we did kind of get a sigh. Wrap for what was Tuesday. Oh, we got a slap now. Oh my God! We both win. Twenty <laughs> first of February, twenty twenty three. Yeah, face so, wipe. <laughs> what I would like to do is approach this video in two very rational ways two rational ways so you know this is gonna be like a okay. begging extravaganza it's gonna be yeah it's gonna be a begging spectacular the first half of the video i'd like a to talk tacular? about the games a begtacular a begtacular yes talk about how things yeah. went with them what i think about them and then i'd like to have the second half basically be about the channel performance over begging the week and today the channel performance it's the boardroom meeting yeah. we're gonna look at spreadsheets and charts <laughs> Because now, guys. Well, uh, the the charts. I mean, they're just downwards. Did he did he drop the members already, or is it gonna happen today, or it happened yesterday? Um, I'm actually, not someone sure. Someone said he was down around like three eighty or something. Um, 
I can't remember where, but I yeah, it's they're dropped. Oh. Well, there we go. I do feel like so, I uh, I guess we're going to see the fallout from that today. Imagine somebody oh, drops crazy. members bombs to negate the negativity of the members dropping. That <laughs> that that was a tongue twister. Well, and then another question is like is he going to adjust the members goal again so he can do his stupid react thing? I <laughs> I think he might. Uh, I I think he might. Well, let's let's listen to him. Let's see what he's gonna say. I need to address it. True. It's important. Okay. First half. Let's get to it. Today we had two new releases. After nope, that's one. Many many weeks. <laughs> we're essentially two. the only re new release oh, I was really close to. The whole you know, Zemi Law, whatever uh, his name is, has him asking. I don't know. I'm gonna say two. Uh, yeah, uh, he knows Emil or whatever his name is has him uh i don't know if he has him though because dsp seemed pretty uh okay it, it, it he seemed uh pretty nervous that the the members were about to drop and nobody came through nothing happened yeah yeah but it's happened every single month where somebody's come in and and helped him in some some capacity i feel like that may happen today uh a little bit well, it it should have happened the last day before they expire, because that's when that's when uh, a massive whale swings by to save the day, and then then they become yeah. the hero. But they might have realized that the only thing that that does is locks them in, where he expects it every month. He expects you to drop those members every month, so they don't drop, mm -hmm. and it's yeah, it's ridiculous. Schedule, it'll yeah, play the two new releases for today. The first was Like a Dragon Ishin. The second. Atomic Heart. Okay, I'm gonna skip through. I don't even know how much I'm gonna skip through. But but the moment he starts talking about video games, it, I zone out. It's supposed to be a spin-off game. Yeah. In the Yakuza series, he just they does used to the be same thing. Yakuza, now they're called Like a Dragon. Okay. Um. Essentially, what it is is similar <sighs> gameplay to Yakuza, but set into <laughs> the end of feudal Japanese times. The way of the samurai is on the way out. The way of modern technology with handguns mm -hmm. and the like is on the way mm -hmm. in. And so this is supposed to be a unique story of the characters from Yakuza, but not really. And it's, the way I say that is, Kazuma Kiryu is the main character. The other characters from Yakuza are in it. I already encountered Akiyama today, but they're not called that, I and they're not those characters. The like they're completely different characters with different names. They just look the same. So, really, I mean, the only direct connection to Yakuza is that they look the same. That's it. Now, combat-wise... The game is very similar to Yakuza in the way that you have four combat styles. Okay, we don't care about this. Unless you care about the combat styles. No, absolutely not. <laughs> similar style of content that used to be in Yakuza. And I don't want to be okay, told what it's like to from this man. In the, gameplay, okay? <laughs> the style is similar to this other game that it's kind of like this game. So think uh, Bloodborne. One board during the first but couple of hours, it was just cutscene, cutscene, cutscene. Cutscene, cutscene. I'm like, oh my god. Like, when do I finally get to play the game? When? Hour three. Finally, when you hit your third hour of gameplay, the game opens. Oh, he keeps looking. Look at this. Yeah, we're scraping the face. It's oozing. It's going everywhere. Cutscene. I'm like, oh, it's so oh we're rubbing everything, man. Well, Frankie, we, we sort of skipped ahead. I can't get an accurate face touch today. Oh, yeah, we, we lost that. But uh, it's it, it's a it's a bad trade off because we have to sit through him explaining gameplay mechanics. Finally, when you hit your yeah. third hour of gameplay, the game opens up to He's standard the content you would expect in like a Ugh. Yakuza game, and you can wander around the town, fight the random gangs, do the the missions you discover. Thankfully, the through the advancements of AI, someday we can make a pick pick go that is based on what he actually does visually. So we can get like a yeah. face touch count. We can get like a snort count you can get all of those you can get a knee slap, slap count. count yeah yeah and like where he does that stupid thing with his tongue how many times a day he does that that, oh, that would be interesting that that shit man i don't know somebody pointed it out first on twitter and since then every time i see it it's just like it it genuinely yeah. irritates me i don't know why lick it's cam like all you can see and he does it so often and it's it's hard like i've tried to imitate that just to see like what the <laughs> hell he's doing and it's almost impossible to do he does it so quickly while he's talking i don't get it <laughs> yeah 
game becomes way more fun. But man, those first two hours were rough. And here's what happened. My attendance started great. Oh, now we talk about views. Crazy story development. Hand graph. And then by the time that we finally got to the better part of the game. I thought this was supposed to be in the second part of uh, this video. But we're already all over the place talking about views. Over 400 viewers oh, to God. barely... Where you pause it, that was funny. I liked it. That sucks. I really feel like the pacing at the beginning... Yo, what's up with his tits? Look at those. <laughs> I'm going to mute it so you don't get distracted. But they're straight up hanging. Yeah, they are. They're... He needs a, a bra, man. He needs some support. Uh... Ugh. You know what they say. First impressions they are scrape? everything. My concern yeah, now, kind of honest, yeah, exactly. That had a really slow first two hours, and hundreds of people who tuned in for the beginning may say, "Oh, that was boring," and never come back, not realizing that probably won't be representative of the entire game. They just did a really <laughs> bad job of pacing the intro. Um, and maybe, maybe he just did a really bad job at retaining the people watching him. Hour was good. I actually really enjoyed the third yeah, hour of game. I think that's probably the the most accurate answer. Oh, the moves be dangling. Hey, big ups, uh, Logan K. The moves be dangling for real. <laughs> moves be dangling. Yummy. <laughs> Ugh. Okay, and I kind of wish the whole the whole day was like that. Um, so overall, like a dragon Ishin, So far, I like it. It is very similar to the older Yakuza games, which is fine. I wish it had better pacing at the beginning, but now that we've gotten into the third hour, I'm actually enjoying myself, and I hope that more people will actually come back. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Come give me a chance again. This is Phil give me a chance Burnell. And when the game yeah. opens... He's been doing this shit for like 15 years. Come on, give me a chance. The troll clips, they're not representative of all of my streams. If you Come give me a chance. You'll see it's fun and interactive and chill. We have a lot of fun here down on level one. Feels like Bioshock Infinite combined. Oh, and now we're talking about the, the robot uh, yeah. um, effeminate girls type of game. Let's talk about today's second new. He, um, when he was talking about Atomic Heart, he was trying to say it was like Wolfenstein and it was something about Germany. And I'm just like, are you dumb? You can You can watch a trailer of the video and see exactly it's not like that so he's not doing i mean we already knew he doesn't do any research but he's not doing any research whatsoever uh before he plays a damn game well it, somebody had to tell him he was wrong it is kind of like wolfenstein because it's alternative history type of situation yeah. but that's kind of about it uh i guess it's it's way more like bioshock yeah most definitely and from what i've seen it's a really really cool game but... Yeah, it looks pretty cool. I just uh, I just have a thing where I really hate fighting robots in video games, so I just avoid those games. I don't like them. Understandable. And uh, drones are my least favorite. When I see a, a game that is like uh, like the Ghost Recon Breakpoint, where you get to shoot a bunch of drones that just float in the air, I, I tune out. I hate them. Okay, I get Atomic it. I get you. This game, I had absolutely just no idea what to for expect. Bioshock. And when the game opens... It feels like Bioshock Infinite combined. Oh, it feels like Bioshock. Grandiose intro. It, it this does. Communist like him talking about video games is just explaining other video games. Hey, this video game is like this game because the combat is like it and this is like this other thing. World that yeah, know. and then saying it's unique. It is unique. Or or it's not unique because he compares it to too many other games. I live in and everything right. is futuristic and all these <laughs> robots and, and crazy new tech. Hey, big ups uh, Omega Kirk for the gifted membership, dude. Congrats to VLX for receiving it. Technology are in place and it seems, oh, you're in the utopia. Until all hell breaks loose about 40 minutes in. Hey, spoilers. Start rebelling and trying to kill you. And now the world goes to hell in a handbasket. You're now trying to figure out exactly what's going on. You have an, a, a, a uh, robotic hand that talks to you, and it's basically your companion trying to explain what's going on, trying to say, oh, there's like a, a, a someone who was a... a I wish... Uh, he probably wishes he had a robotic hand while he was uh, doing his business when the camera was on. They would have told him, hey, Phil, you forgot to turn off the camera. Let go of your dick. A deserter or a rebel or a, a betrayer who is the one who that would all be, the um, and that would be no fun. Time. Yeah, well, of course. Hey, why? Maybe you can fix it. Yeah. It would probably tell him uh, stop spending money on mobile games too. Um, <laughs> yeah. And man, the world is weird and creepy. The robots all look very generic, like crash test dummies. 
and Robot they are cameras tough. don't like, they're lose. not easy enemies at all they're tough right from the get-go they're punching you for giant chunks of health your your weapons are slow you know you have guns but you get a shotgun but oh, you don't man. have that much ammo so you got to use the axe a lot and the axe is kind of slow and lumbering and sucks now the game i would say is a combination of various different factors at first it almost feels like a survival horror style game but as you start to get more weapons and get to the upgrade system, now it feels like Bioshock. Like tonight, in this uh, <clears throat> first two hours of gameplay that I did, uh, this I is so obnoxious. Things. I know. Also <laughs> this is literally like when I was a kid and I would play video games and, and then go to my grandparents and, and tell them something that I did in a video game. You see, I could freeze the robot and then I shot it and it exploded. Whoa! <laughs> Exactly. God damn. I remember telling my mom, she was asking me what the evil within was about and you know and I in Prey as well. Actually, this game's a lot like Prey. It's that's a wonderful game. But um and I I feel like I was talking like this when I told her about the evil within. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly right. Just telling your parents about a damn video game. <sighs> it's weird. Yeah, but the the thing is he's telling like children on the internet about this and some disabled adults basically and some infantile adults so it, it's it's pretty pathetic man blast yeah. and i upgraded the blast so now i can freeze enemies and basically <laughs> wail on them until they die which is good actually um i just i just noticed he has a cup holder in his chair he never uses that right uh, yeah i noticed that when he was putting the the camera in his um ring light or whatever the ring light in his camera and it's like oh that chair's fucking weird <laughs> it, it, it is i mean it's a professional like a it, it's like a booster seat for gamers except it doesn't have like a a, a seat belt he should have a seat belt so he doesn't rock too hard <laughs> if he starts rocking too hard it just keeps him in place <laughs> he's been rocking a lot lately too time, the... he's been rocking yeah he should have uh, tried for king of the ring with all those rocks a lot of looting. The looting is completely unique. Your hand basically acts like a vacuum. These tentacles come out of your hand. You go zoop, and you just suck everything up in the room. You go I've zoop. I've never seen anything like that in a game before. It's pretty unique that you could just, you know. Yeah, it's pretty unique. Items. Now, <laughs> the game has some weird shit. Uh-oh, here we get into it. The incel oh. segment. And after this, we're going to watch the clip. Right? Yeah. So the dialogue is odd. There's no exaggeration. How weird is this? The first time you run into a robot that is an upgrade station... It's a horny upgrade station, and it says sexual things to you constantly. First, it tries to kill you, and you have to hack it. Then once you hack it, it still says disgustingly <laughs> sexual things to you while you're trying to learn it the upgrade horny system. Things it's to you, Drew. I fucking muted the game. And what he did was he didn't just mute his... He, he didn't just mute his own headphones, the toilet seat. He muted the game for the stream as well. So even the people that it, they weren't bothered by it, they couldn't even hear what was going on was such a bitch about it and after That's right. like he ruined it yeah and after we get through uh this specific segment i'm gonna play the clips and then we can continue with the begging so we can stay in in context because yeah. those those clips of him just like actively avoiding looking at them is is yeah. so bizarre i couldn't concentrate on what i was trying i was trying to read stuff in the in the upgrade and it was just talking nasty like, shut the fuck up it's a stupid game. It's a robot. I want to hear this dumb shit. He gets so fucking pissed off. What the hell? Like, what if other people wanted oh, to hear it, Phil? You could have just Phil. muted it for yourself. If I was like, expected that's to so sleep mean. with Kat with the Joe so Swanson stupid. jawline, I'd be heterophobic too. Oh, big ups, uh, Mind of the North Star for the super chat. You, you should probably be able to see what he said in chat with the Joe Swanson jawline. <laughs> big ups, Kat. I just want to concentrate so I can learn all the upgrades. That's system. great. So it's really I weird like that, that it has weird shit like that. I don't know if the game designer <laughs> yeah, thought it was... He's married. He's just jealous they have better boobs than him. Funny. It's not. It's I think so. It's actually obnoxious and intrusive a good to the point. enjoyment of the game. I'm just being introduced to the upgrade trees and how to upgrade my weapons. Why the fuck do I want to hear this? I can't even concentrate. So it is stupid. And there's a few things in the game like that, although not too many. Like I would say that was the most obnoxious thing all night. Um... <laughs> However, what I will say is after playing it for about two hours, I'm going to be honest, it's clunky, man. Okay, so let's uh, let's go check this out. I wonder, I th Pause. think Aqua Teal has the thing. Uh, uh, I don't know. I, um... 
Uh, no. Then I guess uh, Snort Hogan has it. Because okay. I, I saw somebody has it. Mm -hmm. The weird... Oh yeah, mutes the audio. This is seven minutes long? Let me tell you yep. There was, I, I hope there's also this clip where he meets the twins and he's actively avoiding eye contact within the game. And he just looks yeah. elsewhere. It's like the most incel thing that I've ever seen. The most insecure man-child thing I've ever seen him do. To the killer robot or like, loot first? Oh, look at the, look at the airplane and the other airplane. <laughs> Yeah, the, the thing with the airplane was just so pathetic, man. Like, he was trying to distract you from the fact that he was avoiding it. Yeah. It talks disgusting. This is disgusting to him. Someone wanting to have sex with you is disgusting. Yeah, Great. exactly. It's, it's it's awful. I mean, it is disgusting. Some someone wanting to have sex with him. He's right on that. Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's a good point as well. <laughs> yeah, cat's watching downstairs. She's like, oh my god, he's inadvertently flirting with the fridge. I'm yeah. <laughs> what does she have that I don't? Their bodies are similarly shaped. They definitely are. <laughs> what are we doing? I can't do anything right now. Look, I'm not actually doing anything. What the fuck? More skills will become available to you soon, but choose shock for now. What? Now we're, what? what? What is he crying about? Wait. What's wrong, Phil? Tell us. Come on. Come on, buddy. So, Phil, show me on this little doll. Where did the fridge touch you? <laughs> we overcame the dirty talking fridge, and now we can get we can our upgrade tree. Okay. What? And this also the. It's the, not that weird. It, it's not. And this also the same dude that played a uh, high on life a couple of weeks ago, the the Rick and Morty yeah. game, and laughed his ass off when you put a bomb in somebody's ass it, at the end of the game. Yeah, that's that's hilarious. But a fridge wanting to have sex with you? No, no, is disgusting. Uh, horrible. <laughs> I don't, I'm oh, so, the what? Soy seagull laugh. <laughs> okay. Anyway, I received a dollar tip. <laughs> VLX. And we got a tip. From a good Samaritan. And now here we go. Yeah, big ups VLX for two months, dude. W women are not allowed to be sexy. They are banned oh, from sexiness. That's I like you to bend over. so true. Only men should be sexy because I'm attracted to them. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait, kiss my ass? Who did he tell her kiss his ass? Troll. Oh, that's a troll. I received a dollar tip. Oh, 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 oh. Right. From a good Samaritan. Oh, oh, oh. Now, here we go. I was jealous because Cat yeah, loves the Samaritan fridge more than nice. him. Oh, that's that's what it is. Cat loves the fridge more than she loves him. Oh. So, that's the, the gimmick. Big ups, Logan okay. K. <laughs> we figured it out. He's actually jealous. Of course. So this good Samaritan, here's what you can do. All right. All right, here's what I like you to do. Oh, no, my wife loves you so much. <laughs> Kiss my ass. Kiss my ass. That's what we get. My ass. You Kiss my ass. Require about 50 <laughs> grams of neuropolymer. You complete my butthole, Philip. That's why I was so good. I was sitting here like dancing. Shock. I was, um, I, I decided to stop making songs about that guy, but then dudes in the Discord kept sending like gay sound bites that were just so good <laughs> one of them is like a two minute long segment of the 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 pastor just like talking about making up fan fiction about having sex with philip and that's oh, that's what he says the detractors do that's like oh my god you do that i don't do that but i'm gonna fantasize about having sex with dsp 
for two and a half minutes. Talk about it. <laughs> Jesus, man. Something is up with that guy. That's so fucking weird. Oh! Just joined from work. Who is this Indrid, is this Indrid really? cult? You don't know? Are they a fellow Carter? effeminate boyfriend? They're a uh, effeminate girlfriend. Also, the link is in the title. You could click it and find out. <laughs> That's it. Just look like you do anything else. Right? Uh, big up Sparnham. Crafting? Switch to crafting, please. How can I resist? Oh, there we go. Now, I pray when I see it. Yeah. Now, now, now we're getting into the the fantastic segment. Oh my now God! Let this me is show you what I can, can we tell do? him to shut the fuck up? Professionally, Ch I mean, Choose I've seen upgrades. it. <laughs> Literally, crispy critters. I, I am here to help you upgrade your red hot pocket rockets. And believe me, handsome. Oh my God! Can we shut this thing the fuck up? It's obnoxiously bad. Shut up! Obnoxious. Rid of that glove, handsome. You don't need him anymore. I can't even concentrate. I literally can't concentrate on what I'm doing. He won't shut the fuck up. He goes like full on virgin rage in cell mode. I haven't seen him like this. He he almost feels like he got ambushed by somebody. It's like a troll joined the voice chat. Yeah, that sounds pretty true i was gonna say i was just joking i was gonna say he's so turned on and he's mad he's just mad he can't do anything <laughs> but i think your answer is better yeah, maybe maybe it's it's that as well maybe it's like a layered solution or answer <laughs> yeah oh and look at it he turned off the he, he turns off the toilet seat and now he's about to turn it off for everybody else so he doesn't even hear this anymore it's like so you guys are distracted yeah okay so now we can concentrate. For everyone else. so let's see here round attack a crushing round yeah, like blow starting and ending with the first target um yeah so what it is is his like level what a fucking killjoy or red oh, i know I selected the level of the attack by pressing right bumper and left bumper okay so Oh, I guess he's afraid just Mommy will catch X, him so being naughty. I'm not. I'm not entirely convinced that he's just afraid that Cat is gonna be jealous. Cause Cat is not that stupid to be jealous of a fridge in a video game that's horny. I like. I, I can't wrap my mind around this. Like, how stupid does she have to be for her to be jealous of this? It's like, come on, they're they're like actual grown-ups. They're supposed to be fucking 30, 40 yeah. years old. Oh, it's not teenagers. Yeah. SMH. That's a good point, but it's, it's still a possibility. It could be. I don't know. Oh, <laughs> I don't jokes. know, because what the hell is he acting like this for? I don't... Big ups uh, to track to be. That's, that's the question. That's the question of the day, I think. Hey, Parnham actually knew who you were. He was just joking. He was just baiting. Oh, that's great. <laughs> I, uh, I sometimes, um, uh, sarcasm goes over my head when it's over in text. So... Sorry, that's part of being a, a stupid lady. Yeah, especially uh, especially when we're doing something live and you just look at something, you read it once, and then you have to get the context immediately. So, yeah. Oh, right. Yeah. Our level now. You just got to do the basic level first. Okay. Beta. So what did he do? Did it up the attack level or did it give me a special attack? Bro. <laughs> Woman moment, yes. <laughs> I'm just he waiting for it to shut up. So I don't He should also turn off the subtitles. So... Nobody can look at it. This is because the game was not yeah, letting him babble just explaining completely what turn we can off the stream screen. and then go home and die. You know, uh, UNFW makes a good point. What if this was just him being irritated that he couldn't just explain everything that was on his screen? But I think it, it has more to do with like the sexual aspect of him. Because he's like super insecure about sexual stuff. That's why he avoids it so much. Yeah. And uh, I, I don't even think it's, it's his new gimmick of him being a changed man like a born again beggar you know because back in the day he was doing all these like extreme sexual jokes and like rape jokes and stuff there's not one iconic one about like uh what did he say like take their virginity without permission and then ak 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 oh God. there's somebody send a clip of this in discord ones uh so yeah I, I i don't think it's the gimmick switch i just think he's very very insecure there's some very deep rooted issues yeah i yeah the, i mean that's gotta be it there's there's something really complex and weird happening um because i was gonna say like you know years and years ago he was just this gross dude making really sexual jokes yeah uh, this is so this is another extreme of that 
yeah it's just it's just so wild that it's it's so obnoxious and it's so like abrasive that you feel like you have to think about it like there must be something deeper than than just like him not wanting to listen to like some sexual fucking lines in a video game you feel like there's something more i would be insecure too if i had yeah. the body of a grandmother yeah, like i think Finn. so I don't have to hear it. I, I couldn't take it. I actually wanted to punch my fucking console for a second. He wanted to punch his console. This is so so it's actually virgin rage. So yeah. Did it show up? It's, it's still it, talking. At so least when partially, up, yeah. I'll actually check this out again. Can I check out I, I don't I know. That's Arsenal gotta be upgrade, what it is. Polymer Fuck. upgrades for Charles. Like let's take a look at Arsenal upgrade again. Did it shut up? It's not talking now, right? I think it actually it's shut what? up. So you what do I have? The Swede and the shotgun. We don't have the electro. We can't God. buy the gun here, correct? This is upgrading. Oh. Crafting. Already owned. I can't... Oh, wait. Was that actually, like, crafting it from scratch, or... Yeah, I don't know, you dude. You would have known if uh, you listened. Uh, even if you wanted to. And yes. Okay. Or read. So, uh, bro, but he didn't do that. I know. The audio was not explaining anything. The audio was being fucking stupid, disgusting, and very distracting, and I hated it. Wow, super, super hard opinion, super heavy opinion. Hey, big ups, uh, yeah. trash man for the membership, dude. And uh, Pinocchio's Revenge, big ups. That's why I turned it off, because I couldn't even fucking take it. He couldn't even take it. It was disgusting, it was distracting, it was the worst. It was basically porn on his screen. They yeah, basically. Um, Jeez. We did that. Now, is there something else? That was it, right? That's all you can do. I wonder if he has the, the other clip. What is this? The Guild Trips' is audience, members on the React channel. Well, I guess I got to go on Twitter. Knitter. Uh, fuck. Okay, let's see. Let's see me. What? No, it's not me. Okay, because I remember I retweeted it. Uh, cause it was a, it was a fantastic clip. It was such a good clip. Here it is. Oh. Tweet not found. It's gonna get found. Here it is. Okay. So this is like him meeting two very well-shaped robot ladies who will look naked. So they have the, the typical woman figure. And this is what he does immediately. Thanks, Einstein. Yeah, it turns around. It turned around, and now he's looking at everything else but them. Everything else. It's amazing. It's so ridiculous. Back there. Ah. Ooh, what is back there? Oh. <laughs> what, what do anything? Oh, uh, nothing happens. Oh, what is this? Big up to the female fridge style stream he's partner. Just talking, 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 Plane. trying to look anywhere oh, but the boobies. Oh, there's two of them. Whoa, there's two planes. There's two planes. Oh, wow. How did they make them like that? <laughs> Why did they give us a key to just leave? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I'm looking into this too much, but it it it, it just looks hilarious, man. It's hilarious. I wouldn't look into it too much if we didn't have this segment of him being absolutely terrified of sexuality. So I think now we can... Yeah, yeah, go ahead. It's sort of on my side. I think he's genuinely doing that because Cat will cry if he doesn't, is uh, what he said. I, I think that's part of it. I think it's part of it, and I think he might also be pissed because he's not getting any. I don't know, man. Uh, I don't think he wants to get any. Like, uh, like you guys were watching those Panda Lee clips. He does everything to meander. Like, when you were talking about, he's just, like, right. uh, beating around the bush so we don't, so they don't go and have sex later. He's just making all these excuses. I think he's exactly that guy. I think he's just meandering and fucking around. He doesn't want to get any. I don't think he has any drive whatsoever. I think he thinks, he thinks sex is stupid and immature. And only stupid people right. do it. And he's mature. Right. Oh, and then I think... It was either Snoot or uh, Shinko that brought it up, but um, uh, they're not going to have children, so what's the point of having sex? Oh, yeah. Yeah, you have to bother, you know, pulling out and oozing, all that shit. Yeah. It's oh. very... <laughs> I'm sorry for the visual, okay? <laughs> That's okay. Uh, yeah, I think we can continue with this daily wrap, uh, unless you have some final thoughts on the just thing that we just saw. I just, I, you know, <laughs> that's, that's my thought. I, I think I know. 
I think I know. Yeah. I think I know. But again, I, I don't think it's cat, or at least not 100% cat. I think, of course, she's insecure. People are insecure about all kinds of stuff. Everybody is. But I don't think she oh, is yeah. so she's so crazy that she can't understand that this shit is something in a video game. It's just a bunch of pixels and polygons. I don't think she's that yeah. out of her mind. So anyways, let's just close the, the book of uh, the DSP sexuality for now. Yeah. Or maybe he's going to jerk off today. Who knows? Back up. Yeah, we're going to yeah. get to talk about it some other time. The combat of course. Is not very Someone's going to ask. <laughs> would he have to uh wow big ups uh parnham for the for the 10 members dude as he's licking his lips oh that's a very good like mid lick pause that is awful I'm gonna... can i put this on like a 25 yeah uh, take a screenshot and i'm gonna replay this yeah. again big ups parnham for the the 10 members dude i appreciate it a lot and uh hate army says uh, big ups to the female fridge style stream partner nice big ups hate army can you uh Back. can you respond with your best uh panda lee sound bite oh me um, yeah uh uh i've had many varieties i don't know hey there we go Is that okay can you give a, a cheeseburger cheeseburger hey there we go fantastic <laughs> this is a super positive stream uh so yeah did you get, get the did you get the um, the screenshot yes i'll put on a on a point twenty five lip licking segment this is about to get oh. many people aroused <laughs> oh no troll mm delicious lips It's almost like he got like kind of like duck lips going on. It, it's very weird. It's like he got some some lip job went wrong. I don't know what's happening. Right. I believe it's like alcohol related, but it's it, it's really bizarre that the way they look. Yeah, when he talks, I notice that he sort of pulls his uh, top lip up. I don't know. I think I think that might be part of why it looks like he has duck lips. It's just very silly, very silly, silly goose. Yeah, that's super silly. Um, the enemies are glitchy. Uh, twice tonight, I fought an enemy that was a tough enemy, and they're like going, uh, 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 as they're attacking you, they're like vibrating. It looks like they're having a seizure, but then they're attacking you, and they hit you for like 50, 60% damage. Like, the hell Dude, if, if they look like this, then this must be a horror game or something. It's not supposed to look like Jiggly that. Jigglypig. Um, yeah, that's a bad you know, game. I, I guess somebody's going to make like a, like a gif of it. Not very refined. A lot of the time. Yeah, we need one. Uh, twice tonight, I fought an enemy that was a tough enemy, and they're like going uh, 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 as they're attacking. Uh, 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 they're vibrating. They hit you for like 50, 60 percent damage. Well, they're robots, dude. They're just uh, malfunctioning. What the hell is going on? Um, you know, there's some platforming. The platforming's a little wonky. It doesn't feel polished. Let's put it that way. There's scenes. Hey, chat. I'm gonna play the TTS for the super chats after the the pop-ups where the members stop, because then it's actually gonna work. <laughs> That when these scripted things are happening, it looks amazing. Too much like positivity. You're playing Bioshock, you're playing another game. Yes, super positive. Because obviously, I have a lady on the stream. Now, people uh, think that I'm not a virgin because <laughs> I know how to talk to women. Okay, so let's see. Uh, Duty Stream says this. Oh! This has to be Derek's favorite playthrough so far. No, this is not what he said. <laughs> oh! Who the sheik? I feel like you're overly sexualizing your content, dude. Oh, he feels like I'm overly sexualizing the content. Well, it. Uh, I, I need to mute you, I guess, Indrid. You're getting muted for everybody, <laughs> not just for me, for the whole stream. I understand. But then, as soon as you get, to and uh, then we got uh, VLX. Says uh, when you see a fridge oh, with all the right curves. Fridge with all the right curves. Nice, right? It's just the best thing in the world. There we go, yeah. Fridge with all the right curves and all the right contents. Because uh, the contents need to be meaningful. Oh! <laughs> this Dude, has to be Derek's favorite right. playthrough so far. Don't know. Yeah, th this, has to be, this has to be Derek's favorite playthrough so far. I think, yeah. I, I think Derek goes back and watches a lot of those classic playthroughs when he was like, uh, when, when DSP was like, oh, hubba hubba. Oh! oh. 
Look at these uh, two big bitties or whatever it was. Keep up the good work. I remember that. I just don't. I don't remember exactly what he said, unfortunately. Hey, big ups uh, first, Phil. Holy crap! So much positivity. Oh! Phil's lips did everything correct. Hey, did you say they're post stroke <laughs> esquire? Mm. Post stroke s. <laughs> post stroke esque lips. That's what we get. <laughs> and, and but I mean, the, the, sometimes he makes like a weird clown face, and his whole mouth is just like. Like twisted, contorted in a really bizarre way, where it's like you have to actually do something to your body where it it happens like that. What the fuck? Yeah. And it used to not be like that. Yeah, I, I, it could be Bell's palsy. Who knows? But I mean, you can get medication to clear that up. I I don't know what it is, man. It's it's really weird. But I guess, like, it would be a, a mega DSP thing for him to get, like, a mini stroke and then not even realize. Over time. So it might be this? I don't know. Yeah, I think that could be possible. Yeah, face gout. That's it. <laughs> face gout. <laughs> <laughs> I find more upgrades, I find more weapons, and I upgrade the weapons and stuff. It'll be better. Okay, now we're talking about video games again. This is stupid. Kind of tuning in to see That's big. Uh, oh, yeah, we're. I think we're about to transition into begging. First stream, I would say. Nice. It was all right. And in fact, first stream was all right. We had over 400 viewers all night. Attendance was high. They were all popping zannies and perks uh, and smoking uh, illegal drugs. Well, <laughs> super chill so then. No one knew what to make of this game, and everyone was kind of tuning in to see what the hell is it. And. I don't even know if we can answer that. At the, at the end of the two hours, is it Bioshock? Yeah, no, not something. really. Fuck. That's all I see. Is way more refined. Is it... What, what did he do? Did kinda... he just licked his lips again? No! Stop licking your I lips. Know. Put that I tongue know. back. Like one of these... Uh... <laughs> we is don't it want like it. Stalker or an open world RPG? No, it's not like that either. Is it like Fallout? No, it's definitely not like Fallout. Oh, uh, so it must be unique. I can't even put my finger on Is it like Metro? Totally Maybe unique. like Metro, but then you have these abilities you don't have in Metro. It just <laughs> seems like a mishmash of different games and genres we've played before. So <laughs> doesn't that make it the opposite of unique if it's a mishmash of everything you've played before? It's hard to put your finger on exactly yeah. what it is, right? It's hard to put your finger on what it is. Okay. So... Knock his finger out. I, I didn't dislike it. It's kind of like meh. By the end of the next stream, I might not do a full playthrough. I guess we're going to... might not do a full playthrough. Oh, Breaking news! Made. We're going to see what happens, okay? So the good news is, <sighs> both new releases are decent. Neither one is a, whole, a hard pass or, oh god, a disappointment. At the same time, neither one blew me away and was like, oh my god, it's amazing. Either, I'm kind of like, damn, let's play some more make, to, before I make a judgment, alright? Um, however... The one thing today that I, I got to be honest about. I'll be right okay. back. I'm still listening. Oh, sure. Uh, yeah, now now we're about to get into support. We're going to complain about support. Right? And I hope you don't take it the wrong way. I hope you don't take it the wrong way. I'm not trying to be negative here. I'm not trying to be negative. Double new release day. <laughs> what, do you, what, what do you fucking mean, dude? What is the wrong way to take it? He's complaining about not getting enough money on stream. What is the right way to take it and the wrong way to take it? I really don't get this. Support and he gives you a bunch of like eye bulging faces. The one thing today that just look at this these fucking faces. Right? I hope you don't take it the wrong way. I hope you don't take it the wrong way. We get eye bulging. I'm trying to be negative here. Not trying to be negative. I'm trying to be super positive. Support today was really slow. Support was really slow. So it okay. I'm taking this the wrong way. I kind of feel like I'm taking this the wrong way because it seems like he's not happy about getting a lot of money. Not but not getting a lot of money. Just for a double new release day before, and just a day in general. Um, I'm not kidding you. Oh, he's not kidding. I thought he was joking, actually. I thought this was like a weird, twisted, fucked up stand-up routine. Because oh, it wasn't funny at all. To other Russian star games. Oh, he is, yeah. Because uh, he mentioned Metro, he mentioned Stalker. I guess it's Russian style. Russian type beat. Every other day this week. Yeah, big ups uh, Ghost Politics. More support overall than i had today on the double new release uh breaking news you're boring dsp so try being more fun stop crying about money including the react stuff i, I thought he changed dude i think somebody in chat should tell him uh, phil you're doing it again and he's gonna stop doing it did including slow days like a one piece day yeah a one piece day more support Yesterday during the One Piece streams okay than i did today oh, that's crazy. phil can't be dutch 
He won't get to the point. Uh, I'm like, I'm, I'm here, I'm back. <laughs> so I, I, just, I, the begging, man, it's, it's, it's hard. I, I mean, kind of sounds to me like you took it the wrong way. You're supposed to take it the right way and not be bothered by him complaining about you not giving him enough money for his satisfaction. That's on me, <laughs> that's on me man. Like, you know, I just, I can't, I'm just totally taking it the wrong way. And that's, that's my fault. I think you are taking it the wrong way. I think everybody's taking it the wrong way. Observation. Take it the right way, guys. Come on. Business degree, Ingrid. I have and, to tune you me. out because you're a female and I'm married. Crying face. Uh, first of all, Meth Bear, I don't understand uh, the the Dutch reference, which is kind of weird because I used to live there. Phil can't be Dutch; he won't get to the point. I guess Dutch people get to the point a lot, but he's I, not I... supposed to be Dutch. He's supposed to be Italian. You nudnik? Yeah. Never yeah. understand. And uh, Indrid, you're you're getting you're getting muted by duty because he's married and you're female. I get it. I totally get it. That's an appropriate uh, proportionate right. response. Or maybe you could try and put on like a masculine voice and just do with that oh. for the rest of the stream. Oh, okay. That sounds great. I fucking hate it. <laughs> I hate it. Oh, I'll just talk really deep. Let's, let's, let's oh, just it. talk really deep. <laughs> yeah, about as deep as thing, All right. Today was the final day. Good duty. Oh, now we get into the member stuff. Let's uh, see, because this is another ongoing saga. The final day. It's the final countdown. Before we're going to have a big oh, hell yeah. here on DSP Gaming. Because we had a big member bomb last month, and I've been warning you guys about this for three weeks. That being said, we good God. Closer to the member's goal. By the time that member bomb hit, now it's going to be very hard to hit it. And today was the last day. Guess how many members we got? <laughs> one? Oh, zero. Oh, no, that's not true. He got one member. He got one. He one member. Yeah. And he didn't count it. This fucker wouldn't even just put a one finger up and say one. He had to do a zero because he's such a fucking victim idiot. Wow, what a fucking idiot. So he had to basically like over exaggerate how how yeah. little members he got. But it's like it's kind of impressive that he couldn't even make one or okay, let's say more than one singular dent head. Give him like what is it, like yeah. three ninety nine dollars to become a member? It's kind of fascinating. It's four ninety nine actually and wait. I, I think it's either $3.99 or $4.99, but he was like, it's not even $5, Droob. It's way too much. You could, it's way too much. And you could just do the 99 cent option, which like any channel that I'm a member of, they have those options. And Absolutely. It's, yeah. For people who are, you know, having trouble in tough times like now who don't want to dump all their money into your stupid account. But that's the thing. If you're going to have like channel memberships, at least your lowest tier should be the most affordable that you can basically give out because he has no like yeah. extra perks or anything interesting for the basic tier so just make it a fucking dollar and there's gonna be like a bunch of people who are gonna give him a dollar or like maybe dollar fifty or whatever because like youtube yeah. takes what 30 percent whatever so i don't know yeah. but look 399 for a level one tier membership that's fucking ridiculous that's just greed i'm gonna go check and see how much it is. I feel like. Oh, yeah, chat. Chat is saying uh, three ninety nine, and I think that's uh, oh, okay. from my memory. I think it's three ninety nine. Okay. Pretty pretty uh, ridiculous. You are right. Oh my god, it's three ninety nine, nine ninety nine, and nineteen ninety nine. That's so. There's such huge jumps, man. Yeah. That's and, weird. Oh, on the on the React channel, we have a nineteen ninety nine, like a platinum tier supporter <laughs> will you give him money to suggest the video that he's gonna skip through or not watch at all or tell you that it's not good enough so you should try harder <laughs> exactly that's smart that's smart just try harder guys come on zero new members <laughs> zero new members it's gonna be really hard now to hit that members goal um what's hilarious about it is uh, all month everyone told me they liked the members goal idea what? <laughs> Who is everyone? The people that didn't become members? I guess. The people in his head? I don't know. Maybe. Years ago, and it was a giant <laughs> success on my stream. Oh, that was a juicy face. I want to pause on this one if I can find it. When he says giant, that's like one of the most. We did two years ago, and it was a giant. Oh wait, no, I missed it. I missed it by like a frame. 
two years ago. And ah, dang it. Ah, almost. Let's say it's this one, so I don't replay it a thousand times. Okay, fuck it, I'm gonna replay it again. Okay. On point, point 25, so I can make it the last time. I knew we did two years ago, and it was it. <laughs> okay, this is great. You can take a, a, a bunch of screenshots of this face. This is a great DSP face. This is going on a, a lot of thumbnails. And then we get this. Oh, wait. Okay, keep it there for just a second. Holy I'm shit. Gonna the other one. <laughs> hold on one second. <laughs> I'm going to grab this. Okay, uh, hold on. Wait, and we're almost there. And we got it. Success God damn it. <laughs> doing a classic games challenge like this. A classic games said, challenge. You know, everyone said, yeah, this is great. But... It just didn't motivate anyone to become a member this month for whatever reason. And then tonight on the late old games are so fucking oh, it's boring. Members, well, I don't like it. It's like, so you waited till the 21st of the month to tell me this. <laughs> <laughs> like, what, uh, that was the first person. Maybe, uh, maybe it's because uh, he berates people that tell him that they don't like his ideas. He makes them feel bad and he singles them out and he points them out in chat. So people in his chat can either ironically or non-ironically non bully the guy. All month, I said, oh, yeah. I actually, I don't think the member goal is very Either good. I'm okay Everyone with told me just it was bullying. Good. So I'm kind of shocked, you know. I thought new release day, we, you know, we had way more viewers today than we had all week because all week long it was me doing older playthroughs and things we've been doing for a while. And the support just was the slowest all week. It shocked me. The okay? slowest now, all week. Here's the good news. It's this not shocks me. It's not the end of the world. Not Oh my God, we're going out of business. No. Kind of we're not going out of business. The guy is falling. Yeah. I fucking hate that. So it's only a big deal when we're going out of business and he's going to lose his house, his wife, his cat, and he's going to go back to Connecticut. Is this the only time it's a big deal? That's the only time we can take some measures and actually think about how we're going to fix things and be more entertaining so people can support more. Mm -hmm. It's not a big deal. Of shit. Absolutely or not. Don't take it that way. Come with, I'm just come up with any sort of creativity. And I don't know what happened there. You know, it very well could be, you know, I'm off tomorrow. It could be on Thursday when I play these games again that there will be support for them. Maybe some people stayed away from the streams today because they want to play the games themselves and they'll come back in a couple of days when I resume and maybe they'll come support the streams. I don't know. Maybe he is coping, but I don't know. But then again, this is... It, it's not really my business, so I can make all the theories that I want, and I can cope all I want, because there's nothing really at stake for me. But with him, he can't really afford to cope like that. He should think more rationally about his own business. All right, but it did surprise me. It for some reason, his camera keeps going in and out of focus. It's so irritating. I, me. I, I noticed for sure. that. He's... It's because he's rocking so close to the camera so quickly and then pulling himself back. Or I, that's that's what I noticed last night. Um, no, this morning when I was watching Snort Brunel, he's rocking hard. It might actually be that, yeah. It would actually be the best day of the week. and Maybe we would have a rallying and hit the members goal. Yeah, maybe someone is going to give him a thousand gifted subs with a thousand bots today. Maybe that's going to happen. Or maybe they're going to be zero and he's going to cry about it. Maybe everything. <laughs> The complete opposite <laughs> happened, all right? So maybe one day the gout's going to go away and his dick's going to be able to get hard again. Maybe not. Wouldn't that be nice? Well, that would be sad. I, I don't know. I don't know. I'm sure the pasta is going to enjoy it. <laughs> you complete my butthole, Philip. Hey, my Tomorrow boyfriend. I hope, I hope that you guys enjoy whatever you I need my boyfriend. Please enjoy. <laughs> Spread your leg down. If you are enjoying hey, these new why videos, is please remember sus, to like the videos and leave comments on them. This engagement is absolutely key. And yeah, just give him a pill. Because that will allow me. <laughs> wow, he rocked so hard that the camera completely went out of focus. Please remember to like it, the videos was... and leave comments on them. This Let's engagement see. is absolutely key. Look at this. Yeah, see, that, that's when it happens. <laughs> yeah. It's because he gets so close. To the new playthroughs. Because that will allow me to get the engagement I need to bring more. Oh, yeah, this is a good screenshot. He's bringing more. More of what? More of what? More subscribers? More supporters? More fans? More views? Wouldn't that be nice? More money? New eyes to this channel. <laughs> more new eyes to this channel. Yeah, good fucking luck with that, Mr. 500 Views. Let's, uh, let's get a quick channel audit.
So here we get this yeah. minute long video that obviously got a lot of views because it's a minute long. It's almost a short. And maybe he should have left right. it a short. The Atomic Heart, as as a premiere part one, it got 2,000 views, which is pretty weak for a premiere that DSP does. Uh, like a Dragon is even worse because that shit got 1.2k uh, on part one. So it's only down here, downhill from here. Then, okay, let's skip a little bit. Let's give him the benefit of the doubt. Two days ago, One Piece Odyssey, episode 35, got 121 views. Can you sing Holy our shit. Uh... Okay, Indrid, can you read this super chat from Darkman Lord? Uh, maybe you understand the reference? Because I don't. I don't? You just want me to say era, era to Ann Lee. Uh, okay, I hope it's not anything weird. I guess not. <laughs> I hope not. He's saying uh, some weird, disgusting shit in my chat. They're getting muted. Oh, is it a weeb thing? <laughs> well, there we go. We satisfied all the weebs. We brought millions of people to this channel. Uh, so, the weeb style reference. Yeah, the, the rest oh, of the Laura, views. Laura? Are... What's up? I said it wrong. Tell me how to say it. I'm just saying, they're saying I said it wrong. <laughs> Women be mispronouncing. Laura? I don't know. I don't. I don't <laughs> speak weeb, so. <laughs> oh, Ara, Ara. Okay. Hey, is that is that good? Can we move on? Okay. Yeah. Let's move on. Um. Okay. Anyways, so the views are bad, especially on the One Piece the thing it's a it's terrible it's dreadful so yeah good luck bringing in new eyes to the channel that are not super blind man's eyes oh, maybe good. some different ones definitely need after yeah. the last couple of months where there has not been a lot Hero? Of besides maybe what no sorry <laughs> reading your chat i think they, they might start trolling you at some point and and nothing is ever going to be accurate so you're going to end up just just saying ara ara the whole stream first few streams of okay Hogwarts, hate army got me so good. <laughs> so I'm hoping these new games will nice. reinvigorate the channel and bring more people here <laughs> to check out the content all right but that being said that being said hey there we go because what i'm hoping nice. for is later in this week free shout out all right we'll see what happens shout outs decision today based on what happened today <laughs> i would actually prefer to play more Atomic Heart than Like a Dragon Ishin on Thursday, and here's why. Oh, he would like to play even more of the game. Here's why. Let me explain it to you so you don't assume that it's because I like the sexy fridge. Here's why. Or the, boob. the fridge makes me really horny. That's why, basically. I know oh. Like a Dragon Ishin. Big ups to all the sissified boys in chat. Hey, big ups uh, FIFO915 who said big ups to all the sissified boys in chat. Punk ass sissified boys, please suck my ass. It's on diarrhea day, on dog. Diarrhea day. Like mm. I have <laughs> diarrhea day, dog. No idea. What <laughs> so gross. Be like. so I okay, so yeah, I kind of lost the plot on this segment. So let's say he said something stupid and we laughed at it. Uh, <laughs> then we have. Uh, what do we actually have left? I don't know. If we have a lot of stuff left, mm -hmm. and we've been actually live for only an hour, which I think we covered Damn. kind of a, a lot of stuff. So, uh -huh. um, yeah, detractor content is for idiots. Hmm. <laughs> Let's do it. I love, I love um, going through Snort Hogan on the days where I haven't really been paying attention. It's just, it's all up to date and great. Pick up Snort Hogan. I love it. I love it. Yeah, I haven't been <laughs> paying much attention at all recently outside of some Twitter stuff. So I, I don't usually watch these before stream because I want to get the, the raw reaction in commentary, I don't like to prepare, uh, so I don't really know what to watch. But I'm gonna play this video about the detractors being uh, a bunch of poo poo heads and doo doo heads in and, and bad content. And no, in your perspective on React content, eventually all the documentaries get boring. Like, how many basic YouTube videos are there for you to watch? What's the long term plan for the channel? I think you're shooting yourself in the foot for not reacting to detractor. So, here's really you want me to react to detractor content? No. Well, okay, here's the difference. You have to understand something. Yeah, that would be so cool. Right? There's a difference between putting out intelligent content and stupidity. Is him reacting to cat videos and fail compilations? Is that intelligent content? Are, are we serious? Totally. 
Dude. Totally. <laughs> this is ridiculous. Hey, big ups uh, forever bald for the membership, dude. Says five months, so big ups for five months or one month if you just joined, because I don't know. Says random oh. stuff. Oh. Greetings, fellow water tours and fridge enjoyers. <laughs> and yes, uh, big ups to J Dog for the shout out to all the fridge enjoyers. The tractor content is made for idiots. Yeah. It's, it's made for idiots. Stupid people who all they care about is drama. That's why they I'm, watch it. I'm stupid. Understand? Most people who watch that content and realize it's probably not 100% truthful, they don't care. All they care about is uh. they don't look like an asshole <laughs> because they're not good people. They're scumbags who watch that shit. Oh, how can I make someone look <laughs> awful or laugh at someone looking awful today? Is it true? I don't care. As long as I laugh and someone oh. looks like shit, that's what I'm watching it for. That's what that shit Hell is. Hell yeah. There's a difference between here's someone actually covering facts, a situation that happened. That's but that's the, some of the most fun shit about DSP is speculating on, on random stuff. And eventually some of that turns out to be true. And it's really hilarious. <clears throat> yeah. Well, well, and a lot of this stuff, it's just people taking clips from his own videos. So how is it untrue? I'm not sure. Well, sometimes it's you have like a misleading title where it's not, it doesn't reflect on what is actually happening in the clip. But the, the most of the time is just describing what he's talking about or what is happening. Just like this one, which is a rant about detractor content. And that's what the title says. And people clicking on this video, they know what they sign up for because it's this. That is corroborated. Yeah. That everyone knows is, is in the public corroborated. eye of, of, of truth. Versus here's a bunch of slander, defamation, conspiracy. Slander, defamation. Rumors, hearsay, shit that absolutely no one on this planet could possibly corroborate at all. But we just pretend it's real and assume it is. Now, look, this person's a scumbag. Corroborated. But because he, if, he, if he would show proof and corroborate it, if I, I hope I'm using the word right, but, <laughs> you know, like, he could just fix this. And uh, there's, like, most of the things that people claim about him, it's either been proven or it's directly correlates to a clip of him doing the thing. So, of course, there's a lot of speculation, a lot of conspiracy theories, and a lot of that stuff, because it's fun to do. Because, like I said, m m much of that turns out to be true, like with the champion stuff, and it just turned out to be a very hilarious moment, because you get to laugh at how stupid he is, and how much he fails at stuff. So, even, yeah. like, when you take away all the conspiracies and all the unverified stuff, and all you have left is just his own streams and things that he has admitted to, to doing, he's still a piece of shit. And he's always been. Because yeah. since the, the, the day he started his first channel, even before that in the FGC, he's been an asshole and there's factual proof and video evidence to prove that he's an asshole. Yeah. And uh, uh, um, um, the fact that he doesn't show any evidence, just it leads people more to create their own theories and come up with these things Th that is th that that is true as well i i agree with that too because then yeah in in some cases he would just um contradict himself in some cases he would just refuse to acknowledge just like with the bank leaks when they initially happen he just said ignore this nonsense and then was it like maybe a week after the fact uh, he claimed that he got, like, money was stolen from him, and then he kind of clarified that money wasn't stolen, he just had to spend over $1,000 on, on, like, attorneys and lawyers and stuff, right. and then months after the fact, somewhere in last year, and maybe the beginning of this year, he mentions people stealing $9,000 from him, assuming he had that money in the first place, which is outrageous and absolutely absurd. Yeah, it's, I don't believe it. And I maybe he did spend a thousand dollars on something frivolous and stupid. Maybe I don't, maybe it was on attorneys. Who knows? But that means he's just even more stupid than we thought. Well, yeah, I, I do think he spent that a thousand to like lock up his accounts and like secure everything, make sure there's no more like. Uh, exploits or some kind of leaks that could happen or somebody could steal his money. But from everything that I gathered, looking at the, the leak stuff, the dude who did it never actually had any kind of access to touch any any amount of his money. They just had read-only access. 
which is basically yeah, exactly. the 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 text to speech from the bank, which was a a, a pretty like four D chess if you got to think about it. Like that's that's some smart shit. Yeah, that was really crazy. I I guess you know it's I, maybe I, if he spent a little bit of money to have somebody look into something and just didn't hire if he hired an attorney because somebody listened to his bank records like that. I don't. It doesn't super make a lot of sense to me. You know. It, it, I just, yeah, I, I guess it could be like a preventive measure. So, yeah. you know, nothing, nothing worse happens because if they have your info to be able to read your bank records and like your transaction history, then they might have enough info mm -hmm. to do more malicious stuff. So we could try to and make all right. it all like more secure uh, because that... as far as I know, they have his social security number or figured it out or like yeah. brute forced it because um a, a few of the the digits were kind of uh, available somewhere and then they had to guess a couple more of the digits so they just kind of brute forced it and eventually it worked out uh so yeah i i do think he had to spend a thousand dollars on attorneys and lawyers and bank stuff services whatever but then he claimed he got robbed out of it, which is, I guess, his like mental gymnastic way to say that he was forced to spend it. And then months later, he he's going to say that they spent, they took, they stole $9,000 yeah. from a guy who can barely get by day to day on a day to day basis. Yeah. And that part irritates me because, I mean, people are going to question where your money goes when you're spending that much money, it's, it's insanity. I mean, I don't need $300 a day to live. I really don't. <laughs> it's just, what are you doing, man? So people are automatically, yeah, they're going to question things and they're going to come up with their own theories. You're bringing this on yourself. It's crazy. And, and he's one of those people like with uh, the lol cows in general, they've ventured into this territory of people don't really look at them as people anymore. And they look at them as cartoon characters because they do so much goofy outlandish shit that you start to see them not as your regular person, you know, a person that you see on a daily basis on the street, you know, a normal guy. Yeah. You start looking at them as this weird character. And then with characters, it's much easier to make like speculations about what they might do because they're so goofy, they're so extravagant, they're so weird. It's like if you start like thinking about uh john travolta right the dude is in like scientology like tom cruise people like that you can start thinking about oh what what if this guy has like a private island and then they have a cult there and then they have like a bunch of crazy shit and because it's it's more natural it's it's easy to think about it like that so that's why people make yeah. up so much theories and they're so fascinated by how he works because he's obviously not your average guy he's obviously not your run-of-the-mill person yeah Ugh. yeah that's i think that's a really good way to look at it it's yeah it's he's a fucking cartoon character and it's <laughs> it makes it a lot easier to be like this dude isn't real no he's not even human <laughs> yeah uh so okay i'm gonna i'm gonna resume this let's see what else he's gonna say why on earth yeah <clears throat> why on earth would you give those people the time of day if you're an intelligent human uh, why did he do a debunk oh. stream then? I know he gave them like two hours, was it something like that, or whatever? I don't remember how long it was. He gave them hours. I think you it might have been like a three or four hour stream. So DSP oh. debunk stream. Hmm. Uh, so yeah, it was probably uh, it. It's almost two hours. I thought it was much longer than this. Maybe because I've been watching the Tevin video about it. So yeah, this is is basically this. Yeah, I I listened to that one recently, and it <laughs> it was just him saying, "No, that's not true. Not true. That one thing uh, is also not true, but this one might be." <laughs> yeah, uh, it, it also didn't happen. Debunked. It didn't happen, right? That's, it that's it didn't happen. You can tell it's not true. It's because I told you it didn't happen. <laughs> and uh, there was uh also the uh, the Rambo and Howard debunk that thing was massive 
and it was way more serious because that's that's the thing that, that the, the detractors use against him, right? So he, in a way, mm -hmm. watched the troll video because that's the, the detractors' hidden weapon to show, hey, Phil, look, even your closest friends you've ever had hate the shit out of you and they think you're a douchebag. Yeah. <laughs> All you do when you go to right. those people attention is you give them more attention. You understand? Oh, yeah, you cry already. <laughs> but they already have more attention than than you get DSP. What? <laughs> people get too, yeah. many, too much attention. And he's going to bring up wings in a bit because I've seen some of this clip and I don't think he makes any sense whatsoever. Morons. Yeah. All right. The best oh, course morons, of action huh? when you've got people who are going to constantly try to bring you down are constantly going to try to say awful things about you, all right? The best course of action is to silently press forward positively and ignore the white noise nonsense. Lip licking. That is the successful course of action. Do not... Has it been very successful for you, Phil? Are you succeeding? Successful. <laughs> we didn't hit the last member's goal as far as I know. So are we still succeeding? I'm not sure. Hmm. Successful. Succeeding? Succeeding? Receding? <laughs> Protruding? Airline? Huh? No, ignore them. Ignore the trolls. Mute them. Ever give it any serious thought. Do not address it because the moment you do, you're at least Good giving some, you're it now. Modicum, some little bit of cre credence to what they're saying. Because why else are you addressing it, right? There's been times when I don't want to address it, but literally my whole chat. Oh, did you hear what they said about you today? Like, no, I don't want to talk about it. I don't fucking care what the morons say. I'm here <laughs> literally streaming a game having fun with you guys, what the fuck does that have to do with some shit they made up? Nothing. Absolutely nothing. Right? <clears throat> if we sit here and we watch every Detractor documentary, it will literally do absolutely nothing positive for me at all. None. And all well, I mean, if he just sits there and says that this is bullshit, this didn't happen, this is stupid, of course it's not going to do anything for him. Of course it's not. But if he had some way to actually debunk it and disprove it, then there you go. Because, of course, if he watches... It, it, easy. Uh, uh, right. If, if he watched the Secret Limited video and he could disprove every single point, uh, of course, the one that, that's going to be the easiest to do is, is the whole segment about Cat, because that's just inherently naturally toxic because it's just a bunch of people making fun of his wife in a picture that was taken without their knowledge or permission. That's going to be the easiest thing yeah. to make him look good. And But... Then again, outside of that, the rest of that video is just him being a toxic piece of shit. So that that's still not going to do much, much good for him. Yeah. And, you know, he was talking about how he can't show this or that. He could uh, very easily, you know, block out um, important information. And that's that. But he can't do it because it's all true. <laughs> yeah. Well, there you go. All it will do is give yeah. more power to those idiots. Is it going to give him more power by verifying what they have proved to be true to be true from the source yeah. well there you go that's that's exactly what happened when he showed his phone during that daily rap yeah it, it just verified right from the source there you go i have so a perfect good. example case for this you ready? perfect example what it what is it ready for this okay here's is the it, perfect example that happened? will prove my point the perfect example that will prove his point Many years ago, okay. when the, this is how you don't play videos were becoming prominent. Oh, this is a terrible example. I just remembered what it is. Okay, you, you probably don't know, so I'm going to let you hear it. People were not. trying to find a way to get more negative attention for them on the internet. So, they started posting up the most disgusting, vile, okay. nasty things they could in the video comments of my videos. Now, <laughs> this is a game p p piece of, uh, I don't know, I'm playing Dark Souls. All of a sudden, here's Phil's full fucking street address doxxed and his phone number. Here's information about his parents. Here's disgusting <laughs> shit about his family. That, that, that's, that's not true. That is not fucking true. Here's is he saying that people put his docs in the comments of his own videos? It's so so they can get put in a this is how you don't play? Here's a bunch of racist terms. Here's a bunch of sexist terms. Like literally as the worst things you could possibly do in the video comments. Why? Because that gave them the attention they wanted. You see? Now, uh, why did they do it? What? Because the people who made This Is How You Don't Play would highlight the video comments and put that in their videos. But they cherry pick the comments that made sense, that relate to the gameplay and the video and the fails. So if he fails on a fucking puzzle boss, 
they're going to show a comment of somebody saying, hey, Phil, you're trash at this puzzle boss. You're so fucking stupid. Ha ha ha. They wouldn't put his, yeah. a comment that's doxing his parents. Is this this dude fucking yeah. serious? And this is supposed to be his perfect his perfect uh, his perfect example that proves his point. Yeah, I don't think I don't think trolls or you know detractors or anybody would ever purposefully dock someone, even Phil, like in in that sort of a way. Like they would never post his here's his address on a YouTube video. I don't feel like that would happen, you know. Well, that really doesn't make much sense, and he has every right to delete it because it's. It's obviously not something that should be posted. Yeah. So when you give oh. attention to toxicity, it just breeds more toxicity. They would. You understand? Okay. Well. So what did I do? I turned off video comments for several years. And guess what happened? Nothing. It's gone. No, it's Why not I... really gone. No, what is gone? gone? None of that. None of the mean comments exist when you turn them off. Wow. I wonder why. It just Whoa. died because they couldn't do it. The, the, the power was taken away from The power was taken away. What, what, so, but yeah. the, the, this is how you don't play still got made, though. They still made them. And they still trolled with it. And people in the comments of those videos made those same comments he's talking about. So they just yeah. moved the comments from his videos to somebody else's videos. So those videos, the, 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 this is how you don't play, gets more engagement through the comments. And DSP gets cucked in the end. But he thinks he's super smart. Amazing. All right. If you don't the highlight. Comments. The Turned off, killed his channel, man. Uh, yeah. He, his channel. Yeah. He, he was bringing that up as uh, what killed his channel. What was really detrimental oh. to his channel. That he okay. turned off the comments years ago. What ends up happening yeah. is it goes away. If I sit here and I, okay, so I really want DSP reacts to blow up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start reacting to all the detractor content. Okay. <laughs> Literally overnight, you have given so much more power to those scumbags. But they have more power than you, DSP. And they're way more and they get way more eyes on it, them. And they're way more talented and they are way more fun to watch. So good luck with your obviously not working strategy that you've convinced yourself works and also i'm not really convinced by everything anything this guy is saying since he's sitting there crossing his arms like this being super passive aggressive right you don't have no concept and the thing is if you're seeing it you're it's either one of two things this person tipping me two bucks either is ignorant of that fact or is literally one of those people who want to see that happen it's either, haha, let's fool <laughs> fool to react to the detractor content. It's the same as Wings of Redemption going on his troll's fucking Discord. What purpose does that serve? Um, yeah, I've actually watched those videos, and a lot of the times Wings makes those people look really dumb. Because yeah. they, they shit talk him, they talk all this trash, and then he joins the Discord and they're just like sitting there being like, oh, wait, Wings, you're fat. Uh, lose some weight, right. man. The, the big ups, uh, shout out Sean Ranklin. And they just sit there and yeah. and he's like trying to talk to them and they just spam a bunch of memes in his face. So maybe yeah. if DSP tried to do that, there's a small possibility that he would make his trolls look stupid. Yeah, I, yeah, because they'd just be like, oh, it's the guy, it's the guy, where did the load go? Yeah, and uh, I, I would give Wings some credit for actually willing to put himself out there and go and talk to these people. So there you go. At least, at least he's not a bitch like that. Yeah. You are never ever going to convince those people that you're a good person. It will never happen. Those. It's not about convincing those people. It's about convincing the people that are on the fence, people that are hesitating, because the the cards are stacked against him in every favor. Because he has no fans, nobody to like stand up for him, or back him up. Or try and, like, I don't know, be a DSP white knight or whatever. The best he's going to get is some, like, detractor who doesn't like some other detractor. So they're dick riding DSP instead. So basically, Pastor Miller is the best he can get. And Pastor Miller is actually way more than the best he can get. Because that dude released, like, what, 50 videos shitting on Duty and Snort Hogan? So, yeah, that's way more than anything any other DSP dick rider has done in the last, like, 10 years. Yeah, I, that's absolutely true. So good luck, Phil. He's he's fighting that fight, man. 
I fought the trolls and the trolls won. Are literally there <laughs> just to bring you down. Why on earth would you waste your time speaking to them? There's no point to ever doing that. Let them stand alone in their own dumb fuck communities looking like the jackasses they are. All I do is make fun of Phil on the internet all day. Fine, go go for it. I'm not gonna waste yes. my time with you because I have positive, fun content to put out on the internet and I have a living to make here outside of your toxicity. The moment that I waste my time on you, that's the biggest misstep I could ever, ever take. All right, so that's what you got to do. You say, nope, absolutely not. You don't address it. You're not going to see me addressing detractor documentaries on DSP React. That could be the do dumbest thing I would ever make in my fucking life. The dumbest thing he's ever going to do. Dumbest ever. <sighs> to even give a moment of consideration now. to the insane what? shit that yes. they say in their content. Oh, I... I uh, uh, yeah, you can't hear this actually because I've just shared the tab because I'm playing the I fought the trolls and the trolls one from King of the Ring. Nice. So for I enjoyed that one a lot. Yeah, people in in chat that don't know what this is about, you can go watch the King of the Ring finals and find out. And at some point, I'm gonna upload it to the Snort Wave channel, but I don't want to do it now because it's too much spam. No, absolutely <laughs> not. And quite frankly, those people who make that shit up should be sued. They should be sued into oblivion. But I'm not a they should be sued into oblivion. Good luck. Rich man. Hold He's on. not a rich man. He he couldn't. He couldn't. He couldn't last in court. He couldn't make it in court, even if he was rich. And I don't have the means to do it. The most he could do is get somebody banned off of fucking YouTube. You know, some of that stuff out there has been insanely yeah. damaging and messed up. The things they said about me and my family. That's completely... Maybe if he could find the dude who did the bank leaks, maybe he could sue them. Obviously, they broke the law. If he could find the, the catfish that tried to extort him for money, I think they're in jail anyways. So I guess that's a close case. But no, good good luck taking down Tevin and taking Tevin to court. Good luck taking down fucking Super Crazy or uh, fucking me or Snort Hogan. Good luck, Phil. He falls. And He's going to need uh, Saul Goodman on his side. And maybe even Walter White. <laughs> They have absolutely no factual corroboration for any of it. They literally make it up. Half of them, the the titles oh, of their videos are should wrong. should hidden to oblivion. Da, ooh, ooh. Hey, big ups, uh, VLX for super chat. The title of their video should, says something. They should the be sued. That content, <laughs> you know. Yeah, that's called clickbait. That's not illegal. Clickbait no, is no. not illegal. And it's also transformative what what these people are doing. And it's technically fair use. So what are you oh! doing? <laughs> Wings admits he has low T. Yeah. yeah. Still more of a man than Phil by not being afraid to talk to his trolls. That that is true. Wings is uh, he is more more of a man by at least talking to his trolls. And his trolls are way nastier than DSP trolls. Like his trolls, like they don't pass a chance to to mess with him in in real life. It Even if he he just kind of sits there and is sad about stuff, doesn't say any like stupid stuff on a daily basis any kind of inflammatory shit he's nowhere near as dsp people just like try and fuck with him but people are so yeah. dumb I'm they're so dumb mouth drooler mouth droolers <laughs> what else okay pop quiz where okay. else can you drool from if not from your mouth oh. what other place you can drool from from the other places you can ooze but you can't drool mm. um hmm. huh and time's up Time's up. Yeah. I, nobody guessed it. Drool from anywhere else. Wait, your arm? Is that what Mario can say? Wait, no, somebody said your arm. <laughs> yes. Drool from, from your, your arm? Arm, <laughs> arm drooler. There you we go. Ask Derek. Derek. <laughs> click, click, I click, I click on the video. Derek. DSP, I wouldn't... Like, the thing is, he knows what kind of people are watching him. He knows that Jade exists, and Jade is exactly making those fucking faces in that wheelchair of his he knows derek exists mr fucking porn star harassing extraordinaire derek fucking eep exists he knows these people are in his chat and on his dick and he still makes fucking calls people mouth droolers he's like actual yeah. mouth droolers watch him actual fucking jades people who can't write a coherent sentence in chat watch him and he's he's doing this shit for people that hate on him, dude. Yeah, yeah. 
That's Why do I want to give those people the time? And rude. <sighs> day, right? I got the drip going. <laughs> yeah, we got the drip going. We got the drool going. going. I got the tips going. So, um, I don't know. Have you seen some of his React stuff? I know you and Snood tried to watch it, and I think you guys gave up, like, five minutes in. Which is which is the good ending. Honestly, that's the good ending. Yeah. I would I would be okay with uh, watching some of that if you would like to. Uh, I think it should be Ladies' Choice, because it's a very special stream, obviously. We don't have a lot of females around here. I had to clean up the stream, hide all my, my man toys and all the trash. Yeah, right? Uh yeah. So, uh, whatever you want. You can pick something. We can go watch some older stuff. Um, I honestly, I'm cool. I'm cool with anything. I would have actually liked to see more of him doing oh, his React oh, content. Song idea. Um, Household operator. Yeah. Smooth operator. All right, let's, uh, let's go check it out. Uh, DSP space reacts. So we got to put that space in there. Oh, look at this fucking face, man. DSP versus the internet episode 2. This is on a 24th. What is it today? That's fucking tomorrow. Photoshopped. What? Really? It... Oh, okay. It's oh, is this... I, I think it might be. Because it looks yeah. a little bit bigger than the normal one. Which I, I have a screenshot of it somewhere. Face up. <laughs> uh, I don't think I have the original one. I have this one. I'm going to bring it up on stream. Okay. Actually, I'm gonna bring it up here so you can see it as well. I have this one, oh which is <laughs> this is this is not the original one. I would like to make this clear. This is my uh, my interpretation of it, but it is kind of similar. Uh, so yeah, it, it, similar. It, it kind of looks a little bit weirder. But let's see the the other other one because those are not uh, they're they're different thumbnails. So maybe it's a little bit different. Let's see this one, and maybe I can get the, the thing. Hey, big ups, uh, Egrut for the sub, dude. Let's see, can I open this? Oh, I can't. Maybe I can do some thumbnail grabbing device. But let, let's say it's the same thumbnail, okay? Let's not get too di distracted. So why he is doing this, um, as you can see, become a member today. Because he is hoping somebody is going to drop a member bomb while he's not even live. So that's, that's why he set up the stream like two days in advance. He's being a little slime ball. You can, you can, you can have the power to tell me what I watch. Just pay me money first, though. And don't they have to be like the the biggest tier? To have oh yes, guaranteed. Have their their videos watched? Uh, yeah, and the guarantee has a couple of asterisks. So first of all, you have to pay nineteen ninety nine American dollars. That's those those good freedom bucks. Then you have to send him something that he would like that is like reactable. So in this, we we consider everything that is not like copyright protected. So you're not gonna get like a, a strike. Uh, something that is not very badly paced. It's not too long. So there's like a, a million, billion, trillion perhaps uh, conditions. Mm -hmm. So there's yeah. there's a lot. There's nothing. You know, you wouldn't expect any less from this dude. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I mean, I, I expect a lot less from him, even though I, I would even say I'm one of the more optimistic type of detractors where I kind of try and give him the benefit of the doubt. And I'm like, hey, you know, maybe this time he's not going to be super disappointing. And then his epic reveal is just changing the name of his old channel into his new channel. Does he still right. keep the, the King of Hate vlogs in, in the about section? Uh... Oh no, I think he changed it. Yeah, he Okay. Been a growing desire to see me quote unquote branch out. This gets quotes like it's a Derek <laughs> like a Derek tweet. <laughs> Branching out. <laughs> At Luna Mills, I enjoyed watching you branch out and do more. <laughs> but anyways. Uh <laughs> Yeah, I, I was gonna say look at the playlist for uh his React content. You can see the the views is it 7000 yeah is this one yeah and then and then down at the bottom less than a thousand i mean i know that was just a day ago but still yeah it's gone down quickly he does release them kind of piecemeal every couple of days which i guess it's, it's kind of not a bad strategy so every day you get yeah. some something new from the channel but he has a bunch of people restreaming this including like ddm raw 
So you could easily just go there and watch his whole stream the way that, that God intended and see the, the entire context of stuff that hasn't even come out yet on his YouTube channel. But uh, would you like to watch the one where he talks about Ninja? Also, he still doesn't yeah. watch the video all the way yeah, through for you paying 20 bucks. Was very Sounds asinine. good to me. Yeah. I like how he liked Drew Gooden as well. It just seems funny to me. Oh, uh, he, Drew Gooden is just super likable. He's just like one of those yeah. effeminate men with a, with a slender hips and with a kissable and lips hair. and the nice hair. You know, he's, he's kind of one of those boys. And those boys, they're always welcome. Uh, big ups to oh. Quasar X, who says uh, he still doesn't watch the video all the way through for paying 20 bucks. That's why what he does is really such a slippery slope, because if somebody sent me a video to react, and we don't have this like binding kind of uh, financial agreement, I could feel the freedom to just watch some of it, watch all of it, skip through it, or whatever I feel like it, because I'm not bound to that guy. I just told him, you know, I'm going to watch this video. But this dude, he makes that kind of actual agreement where people pay him to do this and he has to do it to a, like in a certain capacity. And if he doesn't, then people are going to call him out. Yeah. So I would feel obligated to watch the entire video if somebody gave me the money to watch a video. Like you should just at least do that. Yeah, just just to watch a video and tell them what you think about it. So I don't know how long yeah. this is. Oh, I think this might be... This is at least, what, a 15-minute segment. Oh, yeah, it is. Okay, so let's get into it. At least we know that we're going to get some actual entertaining stuff through Drew Gooden, not... Right. Hello, Drew Gooden. And you know what I mean? <laughs> Hello, Drew. All right, everyone. Hello and welcome back to DSP I like versus it. the Internet. Hello, Chu. Inter wow. DSP versus the Internet, episode one. Oh, boy. Anyway, this is part four. And we're about to watch oh, a video. Wow. I don't know how long we're going to watch this one. It's a long video. Basically, someone it attempts to be paid for Ninja. Yes, the content creator who plays Fortnite and other games. They paid for his instructional series. Someone paid for Ninja. Yes, I do mean the Japanese uh, soldier style person. You know, with the with the with the Ninja stars. On how to be good at games. And I guess they're going to review it. Now, I don't know if I'm going to be watching this one. It depends on if we're entertained or not. Let's take a look. Let's press play and see what happens. Why don't you just watch it? My brawless wife Christ. bringing me a sandwich I didn't ask for. So I made what? a Twitch account in 2018 with the intention of streaming. He's confused even though he listened to half of the sentence. So he listened to basically yeah. the punchline of the joke, and then he was like, what? Regularly. Yeah. And in the four years since, I huh? have streamed. One. I keep telling myself I'll go back to it, but as this is my Twitch, I remember absolutely. So yeah. Not Even though that that guy probably gets gets more than than ten viewers, but you know he's probably. he's more way more beautiful of an effeminate man than I am. So of course. Up to so I don't. But today, that all changes thanks to the help of one man. Tyler Ninja Blevins. <laughs> if you don't know who Ninja is, he's sort of the Michael Jordan of having blue hair. If you do exactly. know who Ninja is, you probably expect him to say he's the Michael Jordan God. of Twitch streaming. But that would imply that he's one of the very best at it. I don't know if that's... I think at this point, there are this is why Phil likes him. ...equal or better job of representing how fun and exciting Twitch can be. Ninja might just be the only streamer that, like, your grandma has heard of. Right. Because she saw him on L. Exactly. Since such a large portion of the general population... Oh, yeah. What exactly, dude? What a Fortnite stream Let's hold hands. kids told them it was their new favorite thing to watch. <laughs> I think someone had to be anointed as, like, the face of it. And yeah. Ninja is a high-energy he's... guy. <laughs> he's very good at video games. He made himself super... Well, he, he plays literally the most mainstream game, perhaps of all time. Alongside with Minecraft, Fortnite is the most mainstream accessible game of all time. So, of course, if he's the most popular guy playing it, he's gonna be up there. Yeah. I mean, he's saying everything that Phil wants to hear. This is exactly why he likes... <laughs> this is why he's in love with Drew now. He is in love I with am, Drew. Yeah. 
marketable, <laughs> and he used to stream all the time, which made him constantly accessible. He was the right dude in the right moment, playing the right game, and to his credit, he totally embraced it. Not everyone in that position would have said yes to as many things as he did. Sometimes it's actually okay not to do everything that's offered to you, because you never know when you might end up unsuccessfully trying to cheer up a bunch of cold, wet New Yorkers by uh -huh. forcing like your life. Oh, that was, that was so bad. Was that on like New Year's Eve? He was on Times Square and he was like a host of the, the party. Yeah, I remember when that happened. Nobody really knew who he was. Yeah. Going on. And it was like, it was super miserable because it was raining and they just wanted to have fun. But then you have Ninja being your host and he just like flosses. He was doing like Fortnite yeah. dances and it's like, yeah, no, no, that's, that's not it. I mean, <laughs> that sucks, but they were probably just like, yeah, you know, go up there and, uh, do whatever, you know, maybe floss, and that's it. I don't know, at least we could get, like, David Ghetto or something. We could get some DJ, some actual performer, not a fucking Fortnite player, perhaps? I don't know, man. I know. I know. <laughs> yeah, no one did it. That was hilarious. He was, at, he was at New Year's thing in Times Square. Literally not a single person. Thank you, Phil. Who the fuck he was. They're like, who's this jackass? Oh, and now he's okay. We, we got to be toxic again. Because like we talk about the same shit, right? We we just basically said what DSP said. But he had to like add the extra layer of vitriol to it because he is personally angry at Ninja for Ninja being more successful than him. Ugh. That that layer of rude that must be there. Yeah way more famous than he ever needed to be. And apart from his weird creator beefs and notoriously bizarre tweets, I don't really have too strong of an opinion about oh him at God. this point in my life. <laughs> anyway, all of that brings us up to a few months ago, March 2022. Ninja launches his <laughs> yeah. exclusive Hilarious. master class. So that's just my master class. And yelling the master class is a weird titles. thing. It really is. It you just pay money to figure out that you need to have money. <laughs> well, kind of. you, uh, I don't know. You, I don't know. It's like you pay money to in an attempt to figure out a shortcut to success because somebody successful is going to tell you how to be successful. But it, it's yeah. not really about that. They can't teach you that. They can't teach you to be curious. They can't teach you to be hardworking, creative. And they definitely can teach you to be at, at the right place at the right time. They okay. just, th there's some things that you just can't put in a course, but they think that you can, they like try and convince you that you can, and they make these a bunch of bullshit courses. Yeah. He's finally ready to share what the secrets joke. that led him to the top for the low, low price of one annual membership to masterclass.com. <laughs> yeah, that's fucking ridiculous. However, yeah. There is a lot of, um, like, actual productive, constructive advice that somebody like Ninja can give you. Maybe they can give you don't go too crazy on Twitter, because you never know. If you make it big, somebody's going to pull out that tweet and they're going to cancel you. Maybe they can tell you how to... On camera. Uh, th there we go. Make sure the camera's off. Make sure that... Uh... I don't know if, if your girlfriend has to go to the hospital, actually don't complain about it and make yourself the victim yeah. because she is the victim. And, you know, some, some of those basic things that some people might think they're basic, but for somebody else, you just kind of need to tell them and then they will figure it out. But of course, that's not worth putting in a course and charging them like a yearly subscription. So that, that shit is a scam. Yeah. Oh, that's a good point. We've said, uh, did Phil get permission from these content creators to react? Uh, no, no. He was the the permission guy. He is no longer the permission guy. He is now the membership yeah. to give me a video to react to guy. He is that guy, which is like, and that's like I, I don't I don't know how fucking special he thinks he is with this gimmick, because like people like critical, even critical, whose chat goes crazy. You can't even like read a single message. Even he looks at chat yeah. sometimes and it's like, oh, you guys want me to watch Bar Rescue? Okay, I'm just going to watch some Bar Rescue. And then he just does it. I don't, I don't know how fucking fancy and how special DSP thinks he is to, to have like uh, 200 to 400 people watch him and charge 20 bucks for the pleasure of maybe, maybe 
you give him a video to react to. I don't know who he thinks he is. Yeah. For the record, this is a one month class, but in order to take it, you have to be subscribed to the website for, a year. for an entire year. Yeah. Which will cost you a hundred and eighty dollars. Yeah. Wow. A small price to pay. Yeah, that's 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 a scam. A hundred percent. Absurd. You find out and of course you can say you get access to all these other courses that are free with the subscription, right? But maybe you just you don't want them. They have classes. But you know, for those people that don't want it, you just go on YouTube and you look up how to make my OBS layout look good. How to make my microphone sound good. Budget microphones for streamers? Question mark. Uh, you can go on Twitch. You can see which games people are playing. So you can actually, if you... That, that's why I'm saying people are looking for, like, the shortcut to success. When the shortcut is either being very lucky or being very consistent or, you know, just, like, making a network of people. So it's like there's so many things that you kind of have to learn. Otherwise, you're going to end up like DSP, never learning anything and having people carry you through your whole career. Yeah. From both Clintons. So you already know both Clintons. Well, I'm going to sign up for this class no. and I'm going to regret it. Full disclosure, I signed up for this already. I'm filming this intro after the fact. Can someone tell me why the fuck I bought the Duo version? <laughs> Did I think I was going to be what? watching him on two devices at the same time? What would that even accomplish for me? So anyway, I spent 200 You get to watch the, the course twice as fast. $40 on yeah. Oops. Most people will choose to spend a little he, bit. He must have bought the wrong one. <laughs> he wasn't paying attention. He bought the wrong one. That's actually pretty funny. That's yeah, funny. yeah, DSP. You don't have to explain the joke. He does very well to explain the joke himself when he makes the actual joke. Yeah. So I like, but yeah. Because, uh, I mean, oh, in situations like this. Hot tub stream coming soon, Akak. In, in these situations, DSP feels like he has nothing to add to this, so it's just kind of him sitting there watching a video as one would just watch a video in the privacy of their own home with the camera off and not streaming. Mm -hmm. But now he has to have a segment saying something. Big ups, Juan Rodriguez. Uh, DSP hot tub stream is coming soon. No, we, we don't want to see this. We do not want this. Unless he's going to be with a vest and a shirt in a hot tub that, yeah. that'd be great <laughs> just with more clothes on um i uh, i almost feel bad for cat this is probably what he does during like movies and shit like <laughs> do you see that do you see that honey it's he's a man spider you get it spider man look at that he's shooting webs <laughs> you just pig is playing everything about this guy is he's yeah gotta be in fair like let's be honest about ninja right is obviously the guy are you not game, already honest are we being honest or are we going to be nasty? Must have some appeal, but he appeals to children because he was playing Fortnite. So dude, dude, but but look at him. He's wearing a fucking Pikachu hat and a Pokemon vest. Oh. Who is he appealing to? <laughs> children, probably. Or dude. Uh, I don't know. Maybe. Like, literally, that's it. Oh, yeah. The Disney reason he too, got yeah. popular is because he was playing Fortnite for children. That's it. He had the, the uh -huh. stupid dyed hair and it appealed to kids. It I, did appeal to kids. I mean, he's not wrong. It's just coming from him is not... It, it, I can't take it seriously. Sorry. Mm -hmm. That's why Ninja is popular. Yes, he was apparently a pro-level gamer before that. And apparently he's moved mm -hmm. on and does other stuff outside of Fortnite now. Oh, apparently positive things, but we're just going to say it's apparently and we're going to gloss over it. Apparently, he used to be like a pro or something, which means he was really good at the game, aside from appealing to children. But my point is that he appeals to children, so that's what I'm gonna, what I'm gonna hammer my point on. And the rest of it, I'm just gonna act like it's just apparently. But he's yeah. popular because he played a video game in front of children, and he caught on. His overacting, his dyed hair, so he looks like a cartoon character. That's what caught on. It's he looked like a cartoon character. Look at the, the this dude wearing a cartoon character, dude. Kind of like the PewDiePie effect when PewDiePie at a time was the guy the who screamed effect. at the there camera playing horror games. So, same thing with Markiplier. They appealed to a certain audience. But DSP, you did the same thing, dude. He did the same thing, except he was pointing his camcorder to the who is TV. A millionaire? You owe him though, Pigo. Yeah, that, that is a pretty good question. Who is a millionaire? You or him, Piggo? Got hyper popular, and now all of a sudden, 
Oh, they're the biggest gamer. But that's the thing. DSP could have been a millionaire. He could have had those opportunities because he got them. He just squandered them all by being racist and being toxic as fuck. So there you go. Yeah. Oh! August the Duck and exactly. Daily Dose of Internet R100. He could have, Whatever, like, he could well, have sponsorships, but they don't want to work with the King of Hate. They really don't. Of course, Mr. King. Can you, did you ever watch the content? Watch <laughs> it for more than five seconds. I challenge you. You can't. Oh, you probably can't. Too? Huh. <laughs> you know what I mean? Any adult, anyway. It's okay. literally children's content. And it's just funny that you're right. He became ultra popular. He's on every show and everything. He's like, but why? Like, who actually likes this? Children. Small children. <laughs> well, what really gets me about these companies, right? That pay guys like, like Ninja, okay? Who do you think you're making money from when you pay this guy to do something? Children. Just children. No. That's, it. That's his fan base. What he's got what he's got wrong is like companies are paying him the majority of the money, the um, you know, big corporations and stuff. So he's not taking money from children. It's mostly corporations. And that that irritates the fuck out of me. You know, DSP, he was, he's like, I'll re I'd rather take your money than the corporation's. Bitch, why? Why? I, I, I don't, that. Yeah, I don't, I don't get this either. Because when you have a job, you get paid by your boss. And in some cases, it's a corporation or at least like a big company or at least like a mid-sized company. So it's not really... I don't fucking get it. He just, like, his whole thing is he wants to hate on the guy. He wants to grandstand and feel better than somebody else. But, of course, uh, this is not working out because he's DSP and he's dressed up like this and he has a stream like this that is trash and he gets a thousand views a video. So, good luck grandstanding on yeah. fucking Ninja. Uh, even though some of his criticisms are correct, but also Ninja is an actually very good player at Fortnite. So if you try to like appeal to kids and you're trash at the game, it's not gonna work out as as well. Yeah. Yeah. So why are you throwing money at him for this and that and everything? You know what I'm saying? Like, it just drives me nuts because it's not that the guy. I mean, let him be popular. That's fine. And what what makes this extra annoying is that he paused a really well made and very funny video to just cope. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. That's so true. <laughs> Let him make money. That's fine. But why did he become the face of gaming for like four years? Why was He's he on not the front tricking page of magazine? Children. Why was he on the Tonight Show? No one cares about him. No one cares about him. Well, if he was on the fucking Tonight Show and on Ellen, I guess there's more people that care about him than fucking Dark Side Phil. And this, like, no one cares about X is such a, like, a pointless thing to say. Just, it just makes no sense. But children, like, let's be yeah. honest, this is an adult take on it, sorry. He beat off or, in front of children. Know of him, the adults who they're kids. There we go. You know? Now, he's moved <laughs> on, and now apparently, for what I don't understand, he kind of disassociates himself from those Fortnite years. Like, he kind of, you know, I want to do this and that. Good for him, because now he's rich, it doesn't matter, but he made his fortune, he got popular because of kids. DSP got popular because he was racist, and he made sexual jokes, and he jerked off in front of a camera. So I would pick, I would pick Ninja every day, every day of the week. Pick Ninja over and over if I had to choose. Would you rather be this gouty old man who can't get it up and is hated by everyone for many good reasons? Or would you rather be the guy who makes money by not stealing from children and tricking them and didn't jerk off on camera and probably has a pretty decent life? Yeah, oh, there we go. The second one. <laughs> so... I'm going to do a master class. Who are you teaching? The seven-year-olds that watch you? I don't think they're going to be popular Fortnite streamers like you were. You know what do I mean? Do the seven-year-olds have... Uh, do they have debit cards to sign up for the class and buy the class? I don't know. Maybe some of them, but probably not. <laughs> <clears throat> probably not. Uh, a dollar video <laughs> tip came in. And now we're counting tips. Uh, Lady Charisma. I said in the mm -hmm. Street Fighter video, I thought your history would be cool. Watch. Looking forward to more of the series from you. Thank you, Lady Charisma. I would say that was a good video. No, we, we do not care. We're here, here for something else. I need tips from him to become a streamer, a pro streamer. You should already know all that. Why are you getting taught basics? Cannot overstate mm. how helpful <laughs> this glossary is. There are some extremely advanced terms on here that would have thrown me for a loop had I heard them casually I think he's used being throughout very one of the courses. Here. You know, things like... Keyboard, <laughs> you, uh, 
Oh my that's god. A, that's a... the thing that you click with, but I don't know. I'm still new to this. What the true the beginning of this class <laughs> is a section that has equipment for all different budgets, links on where to buy everything, wow. and honestly, that's a pretty valuable resource to have all in one place. But I can't help but laugh whenever he says something oh, like this. Oh, millionaire or bankrupt? Jeevish to choose? What? Yeah, I, I, I wonder why. Uh, yeah, super oh. chat by No Zaku Boy. Millionaire or bankrupt? Gee, which one do I choose? I don't know, man. Uh, I, I guess you can you can paint my hair. You can dye my hair blue. Need one monitor. Yeah. Uh, if you can afford more than one, then that is definitely recommended. But if you can't afford two monitors, if you can't afford a second monitor, <laughs> I made you spend the cost of one on this class. <laughs> then you know what? That's on me. Uh, that's my bad. Sorry about that. That's kind of the irony of this. You can also hear the the audio bleed through his neck phones, and it's it's really bad. Whole section. I recommend. Yeah. You spend. I was a... wondering. Okay. Yeah, that's what that is. Then. Yeah, that's. I heard a little something. That's not from either of us. That's his neck phones. Nope. The professional guy who is better than this other guy who made millions of dollars doing this and did not spend them on mobile games. A good amount of mm -mm. money on your gaming PC. Or maybe he did, but nobody cares because he got that money from corporations instead of asking people to send him money and pretending like his uh, fucking sink is broken or his dishwasher is broken. <laughs> Relative to other hobbies, streaming can be very expensive yep. to start out. Even the lowest end computer that he recommends is about a thousand dollars. And you still have to buy a microphone, a webcam, a mouse and keyboard, two things we just learned about <laughs> earlier. He really tries to stress how every dollar <laughs> is so important Why when was you're that starting funny? out. So it's like, I don't know, maybe save 180 of them for equipment and then just watch an OBS YouTube tutorial for free. <laughs> Speaking of which, I love So basically what he's getting at is, <laughs> wait, I think, wait, Oh my god, now- You know what he's getting at! Right? <laughs> we have to explain a perfectly clear point that Drew is making very clear and very well, funny, interesting, engaging. Phil needs to break it down for you in case you're one of those mouth droolers that he likes to talk about. What the right? point of this video will be- Jade, this segment is for you. Enjoy. He's gonna prove <laughs> that in this master class, he literally will not teach you anything you can't figure out for yourself, but you paid him $180 for it. Uh-huh. Yes, that's kind of that's kind of a given. That that is kind of a given. Uh and which yes. is 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 kind of pretty funny is that DSP, he he realizes this, right? He knows that you can figure out all that stuff. He still hasn't looked up a fucking YouTube video about how to group his layouts in OBS so he doesn't have to resize the camera every time he wants to play a video game. And all that right. like it Basic shit, basic shit. Cause like you guys yeah. know, you you and Snood started doing this a uh, pretty short period of time ago. So you're pretty yeah. new into this, and you already figured out how OBS uh, fucking ninja works. So you can get all your audio on point, and you can have multiple people on the show and have it work out, and how your layout works, and how your music works, yeah. and all that shit, which is objectively more complex than anything he has pretty much ever done on his stream like pretty much and you do this yeah. for fun to make fun of him yeah. so and yeah to his credit he's figured out a lot of it you know i'll look up a few things here and there but i don't think like i had a little bit of knowledge beforehand but i mean seriously he figured it out <laughs> by looking things up by testing things and it's just not as hard as he's making it sound and it's so stupid <laughs> most definitely most definitely and all you have to do is care well care and put in effort so care and try so he dsp doesn't literally doesn't care and doesn't try so every time he wants to play a video game he needs to switch his layout and resize his camera and made it fit into the frame <sighs> I, uh, that's that's one of the things one of the things that bothers me is uh when he takes the image and puts it up near his head he can't just size it down he has to like lean away from it like come on man oh yeah i love that gimmick because like what yeah. you can easily do is have a secondary scene where you and the image are kind of side by side and you can put the image on half the screen and you can be on the other half the screen so the full camera fits 
and you just split the screen in two and you can replace that image with everything that you can ever want and it's easy as hell it takes like 10 minutes to do he has all the assets for it he doesn't care he doesn't uh, not willing to put in the effort <sighs> It's plug and play for a reason. It may seem a little scary, but it's not. There's tutorials everywhere on the internet. Uh, Ninja, I don't know if you, I don't know if you know this. You're filming a tutorial. Don't outsource <laughs> the work to someone else. Just tell me how to do these things while I'm here in the class that you're teaching. In this second clip, you will already immediately see the evolution of my streaming personality. Oh, we evolved the streaming personality. What's going on, guys? It's so funny to hear him describe the things that he does well in, like, an analytical way. <laughs> oh, that's something the DSP does a lot. He, he likes to do that a lot. To, like, analyze yeah. how good he is at speaking in the microphone. Oh, you know, we have people in chat saying, Phil, how are you so good at, at talking very fast? And it's like, you know, I've, I've been do doing this for a long time, and I've been having podcasts since, like, 2012, so I'm really good at doing it, you know? It's like, yeah, it's dude, so this, good. Just because yeah. I do it on, on, on repeat every day, it means I'm really good at it. In, in the only language that I know, also. So it's like he he knows only one language, and he was flexing so hard about being fast at talking. Oh, French fries brought up a good point. The Last of Us episode three review, yeah, that did you did you hear him review that at all? Uh, I haven't actually seen the show, so it really doesn't make oh, okay. sense for me. Okay. Uh, and uh, I know that there's some like gay stuff going on, so I'm sure he's okay. gonna talk about yeah. that. And there was some like Describe gay love. Yeah, there was some like race swapping going on where they made one character black and she didn't used to be black or something. But I just like yeah. I, I can't get myself to care because with like The Last of Us, I think I got the experience of the story by playing the video game. So I don't really feel like watching the show to to get yeah, that yeah. same thing or a similar thing. So I, I, I can't yeah, be bothered. I I'd rather watch Dark Side Phil. Oh He's amazing. Yeah, I love watching him him explain the gay love to us. It's great. <laughs> that is a that is a great sound bite. I love watching him <laughs> explain the gay love. <laughs> I'm wearing my hat. I'm clearly doing Good. a funny voice. And obviously you probably noticed as well that I will often make silly faces. So sometimes it's a gimmick, I'll do... you know? That's everything the DSP does though. He has a clown mode. Oh. He's wearing a hat. So why is DSP not more popular than Ninja when he is number one more mature, number two does the same gimmicks, number three he is a variety streamer and is way better at video games, which the, the final thing is not has not been confirmed. You can't fact check me on this. Please don't. Just trust me. Yeah. Yeah. One of these, <laughs> you know, or maybe I'll hit him with one of these. Huh? And that's just one of those funny acts. Yes, he loves the sleep faces. You know, of course, it's entertaining to watch. This makes me laugh and laugh so hard. Or maybe he's going to hit you with one of these. He's kind of. He's going to hit you with one of these. <laughs> one of the classic faces. <laughs> oh, Jesus <Wait>. Christ. <laughs> or maybe he's going to hit you with one of these. Who knows? Maybe you're going to get one of these. He doesn't even. He doesn't even try to make one of these. Faces. Just you pause them. <laughs> His eyes are <laughs> gonna get one of these. Maybe we're gonna get one of these. Awesome. Which some some fucking idiots are gonna say, oh, this is edited. It's that fucking edited, you fucking idiot. <laughs> so, anyways, let's learn some Love stuff it. from Ninja. Of me evolving let's a little learn. bit as a content creator. Never too late to learn. This is fascinating to me because I've never, like I told you guys, I don't watch these people. I've never seen. Ninjas like old then why do you talk shit about before. them? I've never seen his old stuff like that. It's like, oh, so let's see. Ninja, funny voice, wearing a stuffed animal on his head. Okay. Trying uh -huh. to easily portray himself as a cartoon character. Uh -huh. Gee, I wonder who the customer base was that he was trying to appeal to. Dude, this this guy has zero self awareness. Are you fucking kidding me? No. Does he realize how he's dressed up right now, and that he has a specific layout? Specific layout. One of the few things that he ever does is have a specific layout for something. When he wants to do a yeah. clown face and he wants to do a big one of those big stroke faces at the camera, he doesn't realize that. He has no fucking idea. He's so deluded. He's so fucking. 
This is so insane, I man. Know. This dude is wild. Insane. He's nuts. He's stupid. <laughs> right? <laughs> now, obviously, <laughs> you could look at me and say, Well, Phil, aren't hey, you, there we go. you on your head right now? Well, nice. indeed, I am. I, I am. I got money for it, you fucking idiot. Yeah. But oh, yeah. my viewer base, just so you guys know, is people in their late 20s, 30s, and 40s. Uh, you, yeah, YouTube analytics is... Um, let me tell you something, it's, it's not very reliable because people lie about their age on the internet. That's you, true. That, that's gonna blow your mind, but people lie about how old they are so they can watch age-restricted stuff. So, yeah. Yeah. And, and then that makes you think, does he blow bubbles for people in their 20s, 30s, and 40s? What kind of people in their 40s want some fucking other 40-year-old dude to blow bubbles for them? What kind of people are they? Do you think they, they they might do you think they might be drooling? I was about to say mouth droolers? Maybe mouth droolers. Maybe they're oozing. Maybe they're oozing. Maybe they're boozing. Oops, I accidentally subscribed to him. That's how that's how oh, wacky shit. this stream has gone. Whoa. People like to laugh at me looking stupid. That's a difference between actually trying to appeal to children. <laughs> I'm not trying to appeal to children on my stream. There are zero kids yeah, watching are. this right now. There's zero kids watching this right now. Sure, uh -huh. sure, because they've uh, they've all been kidnapped by Derek. Now, understand that? zero. Oh, no. So, <laughs> zero kids. Like, he has absolutely no factual proof of, of this, other than uh, no. YouTube analytics, which are not factually correct. Literally, no. I hate to say it. There was, oh, a, there was this whole generation. Flowers don't account for mental age. Wait, you can't say analytics in a super chat. It it's like a naughty word. Because it, it changes it to really? flowers. But yeah, Black Mage says uh, analytics don't count for mental age, which is correct. It says analytics on my end. Yeah, it does say analytics, but the, the text-to-speech pronounced it as flowers. Oh. <laughs> because I have this, this type of thing going on, you know. And Barrett Wells says uh, clockwork orange-style Derek basement. <laughs> mm. What are you forced to watch? Are you forced to watch DSP? Derek basement. You know what I, uh, I would call them almost predatory streamers predatory streamers dude the guy who tries to guilt trip you into giving him a membership and sending him tips he's calling other people out for being predators for them taking money for uh, from corporations dude no way yeah if anybody's the predator it's you when you're preying on people with who are impressionable and or yep that's all I'm gonna say. You know what I mean? Yeah. They were yeah. creating this persona around them. Let's say, uh, I see it. Yeah, yeah. Let's say, uh, dance be drooling. Dance be drooling. Tells that they were the replacement be drooling. for the Muppets for whatever children's entertainment that you were watching as a kid. They watch me instead. Mm. Oh, by the way, throw tons of money at me, right? Hello, everybody. What, have, what do you, what do you guys you. notice that has changed? Uh, my background has changed. Wow. Well. Yeah, this costs like probably tens of thousands of dollars. A better chair oh, and a better chair. Evolving as a creator means buying a more expensive right. buy more expensive shit. Chair. My light setup was totally different. Way more. Isn't that what DSP tried to convince us when he bought the LEDs and the new camera and uh, the ring light that he evolved yeah. as a creator? He improved. Well, there we go. He's not a hypocrite at all. Appealing. All right, well, but when Ninja does it with money that he gets from a corporation, equals bad, and you shouldn't do that. <laughs> Thought. Even though, of course, of course, this course that he's selling is trash. I don't want to mislead people into thinking that I'm trying to defend him or something. This course is a scam. You shouldn't buy shit like this. You should go and look up stuff on the internet that is out there for free. And if if possible, you can even pirate some stuff because piracy is good. Maybe he was going to talk a little bit more about like yeah. evolving your personality. I, right. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> That's it's better like, than like uh, advice is spend more to, money. You know, paying ninja to tell you the obvious. Behind you. Hey, he's the master, and this is his <laughs> Things in the background were more appealing. You know, you have the gaming fridge, of course. With the, the gaming the fridge. It's always fun to look at. <laughs> yeah. It's fun to look at. <laughs> <laughs> at uh, the hey man, we're gonna wear suits <laughs> to the new Minions movie. You trying to come? No can do, big guy. I have got my day. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs>
That fridge is really fun to look at. I know. And the very first one, it was just my full screen webcam. The next one, I was reacting to a clip that I had and you know, I was wearing a hat. All right, there we go. If you want to get better at streaming, <laughs> put on a hat. You know, that's probably why my friend Chris is so mm. good at streaming. That dude has so many hats. My headphones were upgraded. The, uh, my, my hair was blue. Now we're getting- My started. hair These was blue. These are actionable steps. Wear a funny hat and dye your hair. You know what's funny is, so there's this clip many years ago, pre-COVID, Ninja showed up at the Game Awards, okay? What are we, and what? The same go. year, the Muppets showed up at the Game Awards. Oh my god, is this when he dissed him on Twitter and everybody fucking roasted his ass? And there was oh a no. Where he's like talking I went to viral, him, Drew. It was like Beaker. No, he, I, I don't think he went viral at all. He just got people to shit on him. Because he posted, uh, he retweeted it, or maybe he even took a screenshot of it because he was too pussy to retweet it. But I think he did retweet it. And he said, which is Muppet, which is man? Ack, 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 or something something along those lines. I feel oh ASP God, got a cat as a that. means of guilt tripping money out of people <laughs> if he ever had to. Hey, big ups, uh, Shorts Vault for the super chat. He feels like DSP got a cat so he can guilt trip people if he had to. Uh, well... That's... It, it could work. I think he got a cat because his wife likes cats and is named Cat. Oh! Dying your hair is a mortal sin to fill. Cool. Dying your hair is a mortal sin to fill, says Ghost Politics, which is pretty ironic because his wife dyes his, her hair. Uh, and l the, the latest pic of her on the, the Twirls and Curls website, which people very... Very well proved that it was her by, of course, cross-referencing their faces. Ninja got to meet the Muppets. The it, the latest picture has her hair be pink, so she's literally one of those hipsters with the pink hairs. Those yeah, damn hipsters. Natural color. Uh, well, it's it's like if she likes it, whatever. But that is, uh, it's pretty hypocritical. That he would be crying about those people, and then his wife has pink hair, and she has that that short Karen cut, where it's yeah. like, you know, it's not flattering. Yeah, <laughs> Phil is just jealous. Ninja got to meet the Muppets. Uh, <laughs> you know what? Yeah, that's that's pretty likely, right? Let's just stop at Phil is just jealous. Let's just stop there. Yeah. And literally, jealous of everything. They look the same. <laughs> and I was like. What the? <laughs> like, just, they're standing right next to each other. And I'm looking at it, and I'm like, so it's obvious, again, what this guy appeals to. Mm. Like, that's what he's trying to do. I wear funny hats. I dyed my hair. You know, I spent a lot of money on the lighting. So, yeah. Are we going to gloss over the fact, and yes, he did all, already gloss over the fact that Ninja is a professional Fortnite player. He's, like, actually very good at the game, which takes skill and practice. So, yeah. yeah. Uh, and he wants to ignore this because, of course, the point is that ninja equals bad and uh, Phil should be successful instead of ninja being yeah. successful because Phil is better. It's it's kind of like... Uh, it, uh, I, I feel like he thinks the rest of the world is experiencing some collective delusion because you know, why are all these terrible people who are actually the good people, why are they popular? And I don't get any recognition for the shit I do. It's, I, he's totally delusional. And I think he thinks that the rest of the world is fucking insane. <laughs> yeah, that, that's like a textbook narcissistic thing where you feel like when other people do something, they don't have to suffer the consequences. But when you do it, it's like the end of the world. That's a very DSP thing. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. I guess we're going to, I think we can go to the next, right? I think we get the point. And by the way, I'm actually entertained by this video. I, this is something that I would like to watch for myself and watch the rest of. Because... Didn't you get paid to watch this? You could just, if you like it, you can just keep watching it, you fucking idiot. Because it's fascinating that someone like Ninja is not self-aware that the reason that uh... he's popular is not because he's good at what he does, but because basically what? he was in the right place at the right time and he acted Wait, like a, a, a toy, a Muppet, a cartoon for children. And that's his his viewer base, and he thinks that people want to spend one hundred eighty dollars to learn about basic stuff that how he was lucky. Uh, DSP, you don't know a lot of those basic stuff. He doesn't. He doesn't know a lot of those stuff. He doesn't. Anyway, like, he really doesn't. And also, of course, again, we're glossing over the fact that Ninja is just very good at what he does, uh, and 
just appealing to children is not inherently bad. Because, like, if he's not super toxic and he's not, like, teaching him bad stuff, why not have kids fucking watch him play Fortnite? I don't, I don't get this yeah. be such a big deal. Maybe he is, like, fucking toxic and maybe he is nasty, but I think he realizes that a bunch of kids are watching him, so he probably is not. So, at the end of the day, I would rather my kids watch Ninja instead of watching DSP, if I gotta be honest. Yeah, I Let's agree. Continue. Here I am with the new game. Oh, we're watching Donkey. Potter Legacy. Sorry about that. Oh yeah, I haven't I seen this. Know about the oh yeah, I've, I've watched that video too when it released. It's very cool. Situation behind that game. Ta -ha. Ta -ha. I feel like Christ. I know that the dude who made What the fuck is so is funny? Weirdo, so instead we're going to be playing Overwatch 2. Okay, apparently the team behind Overwatch was doing some really messy <laughs> stuff. This is funny. Scenes, so okay, apparently the Why? team behind Assassin's Creed was doing some really messed up stuff. Okay, apparently <laughs> the team behind that game was fired what? for unspeakable the act. Like I'm so insane. We're doing Dead Space. I did not know <laughs> that EA was funding a Blood Diamond mine. Oh, there you go. I am now trending on Twitter. What? People are calling me more evil than Voldemort. <laughs> so instead, we're going to be playing Sonic fans are now attempting to sue me for defamation. <laughs> I don't think that's how it works, but just to be safe. What the hell? This is this is one of those videos that you can't react like this uh, unless you just want to sit there and watch the video. Like, you, you can't just have, like, a react channel and sit there and gold laugh your way through a donkey yeah. video because the donkey video is just, like, funny like skits and cuts and jokes that kind of okay. speak for themselves you don't need to sit there and goat laugh and he has nothing to add to it outside of maybe he's gonna pause at some point and literally explain what the joke is about which is probably not gonna go over very very well and how it to pertains to him oh yeah I yeah. made a big mistake. I'm getting in a lot of. Yo, you remember when I got canceled once? I did not realize <laughs> the rest of us <laughs> a woke type game. It was a woke <laughs> type game. The most unwoken game. Sleeping oh. dogs. Oh yeah, unwoken sleeping, sleeping dogs. So retroactively added NFTs Dude. to that game. So instead, we're playing WWE 2K. Oh, no 22. problem there. It's a fucking disaster. Apparently, Hulk Hogan is oh. crazy shit. I don't mind kind of evil energy on this video. So we're going back to the class. Smackdown versus Raw 2000. So this kind of the the DSP react stuff kind of ends up being one of those things where you watch it not for DSP but for the video he reacts to and he makes it much worse by pausing a bunch and talking a lot of shit so you, it kind of makes you want to just go and watch the source video and yeah that that's really it that's kind of one of the criticisms that was against like uh nostalgia critic from back in the day where you could just watch his review and get the experience of more or less watching the movie dsp and... can't record a laugh track to his clown box yeah. so screw it he's doing yeah. it live. oh yeah big ups uh barrett wells uh dsp is doing the laugh track out out loud he's doing it live fuck it we're doing the laugh track live <sighs> non -controversial oh yeah all right lovely oh chris benoit oh no it's chris benoit what the fuck? I just now found out about the Will Smith situation. <laughs> so instead, we're gonna be playing. I just don't like Valorant. So I just don't like Valorant. Uh, bad Boys 2. I'm sorry to all my fans that were upset about the previous game. I forgot that Bad Boys 2 also had Will Smith. <laughs> so instead, we're gonna be playing the Shark Tale. Even though it wasn't God. Will Smith who voiced him in the video game, I feel like just out of respect to the families, I shouldn't play that game that was bad. And call them. We're playing Gex. This game is rated E. It's a <laughs> classic game. Everybody here loves Gex. <laughs> this is the only game I trust. Ah, ancient Chinese lever. I'm oh no. Dr. Jones, oh. you will never get all three. Why is DSP making those faces? He's literally the Chicka Chang Wang guy. He's literally the anti fucking Asian guy. Why is he making those faces as if he's like super offended? What? Yeah. <laughs> At least in a video game, you, you know, it's like a character saying this. So a character in a video game like this can be over exaggerated and, you know, funny. But he's doing like super fucking like, what? What did he say? Whoa, that's racist. What the hell? <sighs> Today we're going to be playing Spider-Man 2. Damn it. 
Oh, that was that was video game Dougie. I had no idea. I, I had no idea. Video from him before, not once. That was actually pretty well done. Okay. That was a nice scripted video, like how every game is canceled for various reasons. You can't play any video games, right? That was pretty good. What? I like that one. That one, I give a thumbs up. Then again, this is the same guy, wasn't it? Yeah, because it was like three minutes long, and he could just sit there and gold laugh and not have to say anything about it, and then give it a thumbs up. That's the the ideal DSP reacts is if he gets to shut up and you get to watch the video, and then he gets to tell you that he likes it, and then he receives a tip. True. Yeah, that and then gives you a play-by-play. This guy by got play. a lot of trouble for certain game reviews he did last year. Didn't he like slam Sonic Frontiers? And so everyone gave him shit, and they were like, don't you understand that your slamming video of Sonic Frontiers is unfair, and now it won't sell as well, or something like that? I uh, no, DSP. You know about it, what? because DSP had a segment about it. He had a dedicated segment about Donkey's video on Sonic Frontiers. So, uh, well, basically, it kind of boils down to a bunch of people watched the Donkey video making fun of the game, and they went, and they left negative reviews either being donkey fans or pretending to be donkey fans and then the meta score was down and then a bunch of people cried about it on twitter and then that was it basically nothing happened yeah Roachbait. if you just cackle and stream another video you will get rich yep uh don't forget to charge people so they can send you videos to cackle to that right that's the that's the formula. He figured it out. That's why this channel is a massive success. You guys right. actually like that video. Key. Yeah. Exactly. Just just so the takeaway is that with forbidden games, you look hard enough, you can find controversy with anything. Exactly right. You'd be playing freaking play cool. school adventures and they'd say something, right? Um Okay. So SMR Tad did a super chat. He says, even if the streamer isn't predatory himself, I think we're going back to the ninja topic now. I think luring kids to any form of social media is a terrible idea with some of the creepers on. How is he luring kids, dude? What? He's playing fucking Fortnite. How is this luring kids? Who the fuck is this, like, delusional dude sending him fucking chats? When you talk about those... He's luring kids by playing Fortnite. Who is... And being good at the game. Wow. Is there primary... Yeah, like... A try not to laugh or something, it might be more interesting than, than this. Or, you know, you laugh, you lose, that sort of thing. Well, he's, uh, you, you mean like a challenge? He should be paid for that. It's like $10 if I laugh and $20 if I don't laugh. Right. You were and then 30 if I do either of those. Yeah. And uh, $5 for... Uh, a goat laugh because a goat laugh doesn't count it's still a mild laugh who did they get popular right. with i'm sorry it was children try not yes. to snort pewdiepie <laughs> one million percent kids ninja one million percent kid dark side yeah, phil markiplier one million percent kids now maybe over time I like markiplier i like his horror playthroughs that that's rude for, for a long time that's who oh, i'm sorry you're a kid like their content i'm sorry child i don't make the rules yeah. that's okay. true and that's You're not the bad making. guy. Why are they making millions of dollars on ads and, and sponsorships when literally their customer base is a bunch of kids who don't have money, by the way? They're just watching and laughing <laughs> at how are they? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> then how are they going to buy that course that costs a hundred and whatever dollars? Hmm. <laughs> hmm. Dang. How are they going to give Ninja all their no money? Hmm. They're just being lured into a predatory, exploitative... Fortnite stream where they get to watch a guy play Fortnite and make money off of sponsorships. Ah, uh, you evil son of a bitch. I'm gonna get you next time, Ninja. I, don't, I just don't understand. How are these companies so dumb? Can you imagine how much money was wasted? Money? On ad revenue on those people. Money was wasted, by the way, on those massive people that make millions of dollars and billions of views yearly. Oh, you're wasting your money. You should invest in Dark Side Phil. A dude who gets sub thousand viewed videos. You should you should give him all your money. Yeah, and he has a whole community of people that gather around to drink beer and make fun of him, and they get more views. So go figure. Give him all your money. Yeah. You know, you're probably watching you're watching Ninja and you got an ad for fucking insurance. Well guess what? The kid doesn't buy insurance, right? Okay. 
You see what I'm saying? What the it doesn't fuck? make any sense. No. And, and again, do they do they get sponsored by like fucking uh what's an insurance company? I uh, I don't know. Like Wells Fargo? Yeah, State Farm. State Farm is going to sponsor Ninja. This Fortnite stream is brought to you by State Farm. No, they get like fucking G Fuel and they get um uh, what is it? They get like uh Alienware, they get Razer, Corsair, um nvidia whatever stuff like that because that come on come on i know they, yeah they literally That's created stupid. brands around that behavior now they've all branched out you notice that they did it for a time they made insane amounts of money and uh, because they don't want to be like that for the rest of their lives can you imagine can you maybe they just got tired of doing it man maybe pewdiepie got tired of playing horror games yelling at his screen so he decided to do other stuff and that was good and people liked it because if it was bad, then all of his fucking views would drop. Like other people that are contemporaries of DSP. Yeah. Can you imagine uh, being a cartoon character your whole life? Like you don't have an identity. You're just you're that yeah. character now. Yeah, Dark Side Phil. He's not Phil Burnell anymore. He's Dark Side Phil. There's no Phil Burnell left. What does Phil Burnell like? Uh -uh. Burgers? Wrestling? Mobile games? Okay. DoorDash. DoorDash. Well, that's that's still in the in the burgers category. Oh right, okay. So that's Got why it. they changed, and I think changed for the better. Burger. You, know, you gotta look back at their Burger. origins, right? Burger. Where did they really, Burger. Uh, where did they really get Cheap that Burger. popularity from? It's because of kids, man. Kids, man. These <laughs> fucking idiots. That's why I'm not gonna have kids. Uh, that's your opinion, yeah. But anyway, uh, we still got time for a little bit more before we split the part. Plus, that next. requires having sex. Why would you do that? And this is what the fuck is this? Uh, oh, a guy that didn't understand why a store was closed. Yeah, he's yelling at them, asking why the store was closed. Why, why are you <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> the but there are also people inside, so I don't know. Yeah. They might be locked inside, they can't get out. So he is asking all the right questions. They're fucked. Could just be people who work in there, but you know. The I don't know. Where you still haven't told me? <laughs> Where am I playing? <laughs> Tell us the reason. Why are you putting people through this, man? <laughs> the guy's going through an existential crisis. Why is the mall closed? Why? <laughs> I just want to shop. What? What happened to this dude? <laughs> Yo, what? This is the average DSP enjoyer right here. <laughs> A window licker. A window drooler. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> what word do you exclude the population? Was it just a mistake? What? Was it just a mistake that they locked the door? Because there's people in there. Oh, oh. Black oh. Were they this is it? a closed entrance due to local riots like 10 years ago. The mall itself is open. Well, there you go. The mall itself is open. So all he needed to do was shut up and go and access the other entrance. And then, you know, you they're trying to get everyone out. How dare you do this to us? I like this kid is totally taking advantage of it to act like an asshole and get on camera. He's filming it with their phone, you dipshit. Oh! The Wanderer from Fallout 1 when the Overseer turns them away at the end of the game. Yeah, honestly, that's a, that's too much of a deep cut reference for, for epic Fallout fans. And uh, I'm sure Phil would understand it because he's like an epic gamer, but I'm not. I'm a fake gamer. I'll, I only play like football. And not even the cool kind of football. I play soccer. Oh, uh. my God. Yeah, Fallout games, they're classic, even though I haven't played them. Who's even yelling at? I just need to play them. And there he's yelling at. Tell us why! Okay, this is super insightful, super productive. So, oh, let's see, the, we get an interview with this guy. He's very interested in why this is closed. They're all taking pictures. Look. Doesn't anyone else care? Yes. Doesn't anyone else care? Jesus. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> Let the police cut off my balls. I don't mind because it's the cops and they're always right. Right? Wait, what? Shopping? You don't give a shit, do you? Oh! This is also Canada. 
Oh, this is Canada. Okay, big ups Canada. With your camera and stop. Stop film. I'm saying I'm not giving you permission to film me. All you're, right? You're in a you don't have place. permission. Huh? But you're in a public. No, no, it's closed. It's no, closed. This is actually a private what? held. Uh, oh, okay. really? You're going to explain it to me? Well, tell me why they're closed. I don't know. Oh, there we go. He got him. He got him. He has no n no explanation for this. He has no idea why. Why is it closed? That's why they closed the whole place. <laughs> oh, nice. You crazy. Do you operate a household? Are you married? Wow. Oh, I don't think you are. What the fuck? Do you have uh, creatures and, to take care of? And then we get fucking XQC stuff. I think this is where I'm going to have to adjourn the stream. I think we had too much fun. Uh, thank you again, Indrid, for, for swinging by. Chat, make sure you go and check out the link in the title, the tractor beam. Smash the subscribe button. Smash the like button. Smash. And uh, come back next time and go watch their streams. <laughs> and go watch the, the stream with Shinko from yesterday. Thank you, Indrid, again. This was uh, It was very fun. It was uh, very interactive. I'm going to play some songs and then I'm going to end the stream. So thanks again. I'm going to close this call right now. Sure. So, uh, see you. Have a nice right. uh, American style day and uh, enjoy life. All right, sounds good. <laughs>
liquid baby oil. You, you could me my butthole. Oh, I love you. Jasper just did that! Jasper just did that! <laughs> Woman hips close to as you're sitting down next to Jasper. Oh, I hate Cat. Cat doesn't deserve you, Philip. You have no idea what you mean.